Welcome back, Portmasters. SEO Matt here with another live unboxing. Normally, Saturdays are just about the auctions, which, don't get me wrong, we have auctions going right now, and there's some interesting stuff out there. So I hope you take the time to check out those auctions. Um, interesting stuff like uh, Patina, Lava Lance Eruptor. Uh, we have, we've managed to find item number 601. If you haven't heard about that, uh, it's a mobile hot streak. That's number 601, the latest item we've added to the official list of Skylanders collectibles. Um, that is up for auction this weekend. So, or today, not this weekend, today, today only. So you should go check that out. Skadoosh, you want a pit boss? We'll see what we can do. Busy bot, sevenfold tree sun, ninja bread. Everybody here. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so yeah, Skadoosh. Uh, 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 unfortunately, I mean it it's normal if people have touched it that much. Um so like I checked it in game. It is a legitimate chase variant so i'm not worried about that this is just it's been out of the box probably since it was purchased and it's been played with a lot because like you you can see the places where the paint is rubbing off on his arm there on the head on the base it, it's where you would touch the figure um just to pick it up and put it on and off the portal on and off your shelf whatever that that's all it is it, it, it's like um when you would uh you see paint wearing off of normal figures too right um it's just this is the the chase and so it looks that much worse unfortunately um so it, it it's just honestly like normal wear and tear it's unfortunate it's on chase variant and that's one reason i don't like taking chase variants out of the box so it's normal in the sense that, yes, when figures are played with, they wear down. Um, was that how it came out of the box? No. So that's that's big reason, honestly, why I have it up for auction and I'm not putting it on on the site. Like I want people to be able to see those pictures and notice that, yeah, there it's not in perfect condition, but it's still a chase variant. And I, don't worry, I checked that. It, it is a legitimate chase variant. So, um, yeah, John, hoping to win some auctions today. I think I saw you bidding on a few of them there. <laughs> Jindigo, yes, this is the big one. 54, 54 pound box we've all been waiting for all week. Um, Doolahan, yes, there was a legendary pit boss in the shop, but. It sold recently. <laughs> so unfortunately, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that one sold yesterday already. So Master Robo, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, maybe we can find something for you here. I don't know exactly what you're looking for. What 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 what's the top of your list right now? Like top top one, top three. What what are we looking at? What are we looking for here? What would make your birthday? All right, but we do have 54 pounds of stuff to get through. So we are going to um, get into that. <laughs> so as I, I, last time I did something this big, the, like the 62-pound lot is the only one that's really um, comparable. Oh, man, okay, UFO hat, Royal Double Trouble, Dark Bowser. That's a heavy list, but not completely out of the question so we'll see we'll see sevenfold you need that ornament well good luck good luck in the auction uh 54 pounds worth of tree wrecks and ufo hats i honestly if it was if it was like half and half i'd take it or even a third of it was ufo hats i'd take it <laughs> uh unfortunately that no that's not gonna be the case um so the last time I did a 62 pound unboxing, I actually split it up into three parts. Today, I'm going to try to keep it all as one stream, one consistent stream. Um, but 
thankfully it looks like I like I cracked open the box and most of it is in bags. And so I'll be able to kind of take one bag and unbox that and set it aside and then take another bag and unbox that and set it aside. And, and so we'll go about it that way for now. Um, uh, Doofy, man, I'll show this off again. This is from two unboxings ago, I think either two or three. Um, it's a gift from one of our fans over here, Earthen Avenger. You may have seen him in the uh, chat a few times. But this is a custom painted figure that they made for me. It is absolutely gorgeous. But I'm working on getting better pictures of this because, like, even just showing it off on camera like this does not does not do it justice so yeah this was a custom painted camo that i got um i what I, I didn't request it or anything it, it, they just sent it to me and it was a huge surprise but you can see me unboxing this um a few streams ago but yeah that's gonna live up there for sure You don't want to say what yet, but he might have something huge coming in collection-wise. Well, that could be exciting. I hope that works out. Did I notice any weird orders or messages up and ordered three of the same magic item by accident? Um, Spartan, yeah. Yeah, I did I did notice that. Um, I send what was ordered. <laughs> I I used to question things like that. But I have, um, like, I've actually asked people, like, yeah, why are you buying four of the same figure? And it's like, oh, I have friends who wanted them. Or, um, you know, sometimes they want to custom paint one of them or various, various other reasons. And so when it came to down to ordering three of a magic item and they were 99 cents, I, I didn't really question it. But <laughs> I, I'm sorry if you didn't actually want all three of them, but they, they are definitely headed your way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, that, that custom camo up there is, is amazing. So anyway, we have a lot of work ahead of us today. Uh, this is, I, I, I literally think this is going to take us all day, probably straight into my normal um, auction stream that I would usually start at like six o'clock. I mean, that's technically six hours away right now, but I, like I said, this takes a while. So let's get into it. Um, first thing on top of the box, we got a few more books. Um, so we got the guides for Spyro's Adventure and Giants. Uh, we just got some of these guides the other day, which I think we actually got the next three. We got SWAT Force, Trap Team, and Superchargers. Um, this one in particular is a little beat up. You can see on the spine there. Um, the Giants one looks a little bit better. But then we also did get uh, the collector's edition of the Swap Force Guide. Uh, so this is a hardcover. Um, it, it, it's it's taking a bit of a beating. It's been well used. But uh, the collector's edition, if someone is interested in that, um, all of these things will eventually end up in the auction um like i said i started putting some of the books up today to see how those go uh, but all these guides that we're getting to will eventually make make the auction as well if that's something you're interested in oh you lost the royal double trouble shoot that's unfortunate all right so like I said, uh, most of the stuff comes in bags. So uh, what is this a bag for? Smart and final. I, I'm i not familiar with that. If that's a store, I, I, I don't know what that is. All right. So let's dive in and see what we got here.
Well, we'll start off strong and go with a Series 1 Wham Shell. This is one that has been out of stock in the shop for a while. I know there's at least one person here looking for this. Uh, well, I don't know if they're actually in the chat right now. But yeah, uh, Series 1 Wham Shell. We'll be getting back in stock. And we got an Ingenie. And a Series 2 Eruptor. Series 2 Zook. Series 2 Stealth Elf. Uh, Doolahan, yeah, Wham Shell was another late release, like basically last one to be released in SSA and became kind of hard to find. Yeah. Um, thankfully, like even his price today, even though it's more than your average SSA figure, it's not too unreasonable. Um, and it's really the only figure in SSA that, I mean, I think it's the only one in SSA that even charged double digits. I think everything else is under 10 bucks. So uh, we got a series one shroom boom. There's the golden dragon fire cannon the variant. Series two drill sergeant. Here is our light core hex. Yeah, Ghost Roaster is a little bit higher, but at least on my site, I don't have them over 10 bucks, I'm pretty sure. I think Ghost Roaster is only like five or six, right? Uh Volcanic Vault, if you if you count that, yeah. <laughs> That's true. That I Volcanic Vault is just in a class of its own. Uh, Doofy, I, very slight. I, I like. I think I have them listed like the Dragonfire Cannon. I think I've listed in like ninety nine cents, so standard magic item type of thing. And then the Golden Dragonfire, I think I have at like one ninety nine or two ninety nine. So I mean, I charge a little bit more because yes, it is a variant. It was a store exclusive here in the states. Um, it was exclusive to GameStop, so there were slightly less of them. There were, I mean, it wasn't really harder to find because. You just go to GameStop and get it. Um, but yeah, not not a huge difference. All right, here is a light core jet back. Jet back. Wow, can speak today. Just getting started. It's going to be a long day if I can't speak. How about an eyebrow? Uh, how are you originally supposed to get the volcanic vault? So it was inserted into um, the starter SSA starter packs uh, at Best Buy. That that was like the original way to do it. There, there were I, I think they did use it, um, maybe with some other promotions as time went on, if they had some left over or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it, it was Best Buy exclusive with the SSA starter. Like that was, at least once again in the states, that was how how it was released. What's the rare Skylanders item you own that is not a playable figure? Um, I have the yeah. I I don't have a lot that's that's not playable. So <laughs> this is a pretty 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 easy answer for me. I think is the um. Uh, uh, what is it? The the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade Eruptor. Um, I got that. That that, that was actually a gift from Coinop TV. He sent me that um, a few years back. So I I do have that that figure, which it's unfortunate. It's not playable in game. That would, that would be an interesting one. But yeah. Do hint, yeah, I, I, 
I have trouble with that too. I always have to remember um, with the with the later series, like past Giants, because the Giants one I know that like, that's his series one. But I have this problem with Jetvac and Pop Fizz because they became so popular and they created so many. Um, so like when we get to Trap Team, and I'm like, this is their series four. No, it can't be their series four. So it's series three. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I they're they're characters that have become so synonymous with the series as well that they, it feels like they've been there since the first game. Uh, we got a light cord robot and series two trigger happy coins intact. Uh, double series two double trouble. And series one chill. Uh, series two Gil Grunt. Don't see too many of him. Uh, series two Zap. Series two, we're going to have trouble with the camera today. The lighting's just off. Uh, lightning run. Series two, Terrafin. And here's a nice one. There is our light core chill. This one's definitely harder to come by. I've I had a handful of times in the shop, but good to have her back. And let's get this out of the way and make it official. There is our tree Rex. This is an official lot. Beautiful. All right. Continuing with the Giants, we have a hothead. And there's our thump back. And a bouncer. Seems to be intact today. I'm like I'm gonna be more care careful while checking him because I've been wrong about him a few times in the past. But he looks good. Series two stump smash. Here's Flashwing for Series 1. And another Platinum Treasure Chest. That's nice to see. Uh, we just had another one of these recently. I think it's sold already, but uh, reminder to everybody, uh, the Platinum Treasure Chest shows up as a hidden treasure. It's not, a, well, it is a mistake, but they're all like that. Uh, did I check the price for the 601 auction? Not recently. Uh, let's see here. 601, 1550? Is that what you're seeing? Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> like we said, uh, th that, that is something that we, uh, we're testing here a little bit to see what kind of price point 601 gets because we've never sold a 601 as 601 um may have accidentally sold one as a regular hot streak before but 601 might reach 601 uh that that would be very surprising if it becomes the highest selling highest most expensive item ever sold i mean robo didn't even go for that much it's not that rare I let, let me put this out there. I would not recommend that you pay six hundred one dollars for six hundred one. We can we we can find more of them. All right, uh, we got ourselves a light core eruptor and there's swarm. Series two chop chop intact today. Been getting a couple broken ones recently. 
<laughs> Skadoosh, yeah, I mean, I don't be okay with it, but I, like I said, I, I don't think it's the smartest thing for you to do with your money. Spend the 601 on 601. Uh, there's our light core shroom boom. And a series two whirlwind. Just, just the lighting. I, <laughs> there's some glare on the eyeball. I thought the eye was missing, but no, we're all good. Is there a scorpion striker catapult? And Sprocket, Series 1. There's Pop Fizz. Is Series 1 as well, as we were talking about before. Uh, we got Series 1 Igniter. And Series 2 Igniter. There you go. Uh, series two slam bam. Doofy, I'm glad you're getting into superchargers. Awesome. Shocks, welcome. Uh, another series two Spyro. I feel like those are starting to show up a little more frequently, at least in the lots that I'm buying. Series two Sonic Boom. There is Fright Rider intact today. Uh, there's our Series 1 Jetvac. Had the light core earlier. All right. Uh, light core Prism Break. Along with... Series 2, Prism Break. Series 1, Trigger Happy. Series 2, Flame Slinger. Uh, there's Crusher. Uh, Dragon's Peak, level pack from SSA. Series 1, Chop Chop. And Series 2, Cinder. And looks like wrapping up first bag here, we have Hot Dog with his tail intact. Thankfully. Uh, Dark Light Crypt. Another SSA level. And the regular Dragonfire Cannon. So we had the golden earlier. Here's the regular one. Uh, Ninja, yeah. Yeah, we did have a Light Core Chill. We did find Light Core Chill. Uh, does 601 count as a chase variant? So, Skadoosh, th this is what finally made us decide, like, we're going to create a third category that for now we're just going to call other. Um, there's a few other pieces that will fall into this category as well once we sort it all out. Uh, but it it does, like, it doesn't really fall into the chase category or in-game category or at least not in a traditional sense and i apologize if things get a little weird here because it looks like my internet's having some problems again um but the the basics behind it is like does it change in game or, or does you know does it show in game as it does with the figure well yes technically it does because there is no change to the figure physically um and yes it shows up separately in the collection menu so that kind of says in-game variant but it doesn't look any different so that would say chase variant and like that it, 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 it's a weird 
in between state that we just finally said no create create a third category we're going to call it other um and and we'll we'll treat it that way because it it it's not in game it's not chase it's a little bit of both but i don't know um mike noid welcome welcome but yeah like or chill i mean i came in late to giants and so i wasn't quite up on all the collecting stuff but i never saw like core chill in store i never saw one um if i recall like core chill was a wave five i want to say something late i think but definitely hard to find um and it, i mean it didn't help that there was legendary like core chill which was you know toys R Us exclusive so that one was a little bit easier to find and that's what a lot of people settled for then but the standard version, yeah, kind of tough. Um, would sidekicks fall into that category? I, I don't think so. Um, I, I don't necessarily have the final say on this because I'm not the official keeper of the list. Um, but. If Pirate Dad's here, like, or if he shows up later, <laughs> he would be a better person to ask. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen with that. But th there, there are definitely a few more that I would put in that category um, because, like I said, they just don't work in either or they're kind of both or whatever. So, in any way... Uh, Oh, 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 Skadoosh. Does 601 count the chase variants? Yes. The 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 601 total Skylanders does include chase variants. Yeah. Yes, it does. Um all right. So that was bag number one. I have bag number two on the table here. And then after that, I'm gonna have to go back to the box and start pulling more stuff out. But we can get through this. This one just appears to be a target bag. Let's see what we have. Uh, this one may jump around to Imaginators a little bit. So we have a Kingpin. And Stormblade. Fire Reactor Creation Crystal. The C Trophy. I, Mike Noid, yeah, I mean, they, they did appear in stores. That's for sure. And so somebody got them. And that's cool that you were one of those people. Uh, but yeah, I, I just never personally saw one in store. Partly, I, like I said, um, like, I wasn't hunting quite as frequently back then as I did in later years. And I've never lived near a Toys R Us, which would have helped immensely because, you know, they always had more stock than anybody else. But uh, there's Golden Queen. Pull these out together. The Legendary Sunrunner and Astro Blast. Shark Shooter Terrafin. There is the standard Sunrunner. The longest name ever, Birthday Bash Big Bubble Pop Fizz. Got a Sky Trophy. And we're doubling up a little bit. We got two Astro Blasts. Go figure. But I know there are people looking for Astro Blasts, so got a few more. Uh, we got ourselves a legendary Hurricane Jetback. Is second legendary. And Dive Clops. Guess we had 
two uh, Astro Blasts, so this kind of makes sense. Another Sky Trophy, actually three Astro Blasts with the Legendary. So, yeah. The more Sky Trophies make sense. Um, actually, another Dive Clops. And there's a Dive Bomber. <laughs> Tree Sun, yeah, I, I I don't know if we'll uh we'll get any damage once today, but I'll let you know. I thank you for that every time. Thank you for thank you for buying dam damage Skylanders, rescuing those figures. Uh we have a clown cruiser, standard version. There is uh super shot stealth elf. Deep Dive Gilgrunt. <laughs> it's true. There is a lot up for auction right now for for 30 damage figures. I have a lot of damage figures. Let's put it that way. That's not even all of them. Like I could have made that lot bigger, but I, I, thought, I thought that was big enough for my experiment. See if anybody actually buys something like that. The ornament is shooting up in price. Wow, that's not what I expected, but that's cool. I'll, I'll have to keep an eye on these. Maybe after each bag or something, I can go check on prices. Um, <laughs> Flip Red Cobra Cadabra, Chaos Trap. That, that was all you? Okay, okay. That's cool. All right, we got a burn cycle and shark tank. There's sky slicer and stealth stinger. Hey, we got another fiesta head intact today. There's a Reef Ripper. Another Super Shot Stealth Out. And a Chaos Trophy. Obsession, welcome, welcome. So you were busy on the uh, auctions early today. There's Aurora with surprisingly straight swords like those may be the straightest swords i've ever seen on an aurora figure that's impressive all right uh third super shot still though <laughs> hey we're looking for damage figures here's a new one uh, High Volt missing his shield. I, I haven't seen that one. He's kind of exposed. It's kind of weird. It like it's weird to see his legs. Like I've never seen that that much of of High Volt before. But yeah, he's definitely uh, damaged there, missing his shield. So there's our first damage figure. What about Solar Flare Aurora? I, I've had her in the shop twice, at least once, maybe twice. But yeah, not maybe not recently. Uh, we got a Sea Shadow. And a Hot Streak. Could it be another 601? We'll find out. We'll find out much later today. Gotta get through the unboxing first. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Okay, I just found an arm in the bag that I think I know who it belongs to. But if that's the case, I didn't even notice they were damaged the first time. So <laughs> we'll have to double check that in a minute. Uh, we got a Crypt Crusher. And Big Bubble Pop Fizz. 
and another clown cruiser. So I don't know. <laughs> no, it is not a robo arm. Um, can you place that arm? Sure enough. That legendary Astro Blast. Um, like I went too quickly and, and didn't notice. Um, cause I pulled him out with the sun runner. I didn't look at him closely. So there's our second injury of the day. Second figure waiting to be rescued. Thankfully I have the part for this one. I, I did not have high volt shield, but I do have legendary Astro Blast arm. So like it, it just, you know, popped out of socket again. Easy, easy glue job if you want it. But he goes damaged pile. So, all right. That was the end of bag number two. <laughs> Do hand. No, no. It's actually just, we still only have the three Astro Last figures. I mean, four parts, I guess you could say. But, um, but no. <laughs> it, that is indeed legendary Astro Blast arm. Sure, sure. We were so blind because I, I, I held it up very quickly. And I held it up with the Sun Runner, like that's I I, I, don't know, I didn't like rotate it as usual, like that, that that's on me, that's on me for sure. <laughs> Obsession, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, uh, the bidding has go been going quite well. I, actually, we're we're just talking about that. Um, I think it's time to check up on those auctions again, because I've been hearing, well. What are good things for me, I guess. I'm sorry if people are getting outbid, but all right. So yeah, that mobile hot streak up to 1550, which is already higher than I would have expected. Um, that's cool to see that there's a lot of interest in that. We got the Gil Grunt book at 250, the spiral book at 250. Darth Vader's got a bid for a dollar, Cobra's at a dollar. Flipper X at $2. Wow. You weren't kidding about that hot dog Christmas ornament. $10.50. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, totally unexpected. Um, the Chaos Trap at $2. Patina Eruptor at $28.50. That's got a few bids there. Um see what else we got here everything else is still without bids it looks like but wow <laughs> uh i love you guys i love y'all it's that's great that's great ne never in my wildest dreams would i thought the the hot dog ornament would be one of the hot items but uh that's cool to see that's cool to see so we'll see what goes on with that. All right. Um, yeah, Trap Shadow's only damage is weapon. Uh, the, the, the Trap Shadow, honestly, is one that I didn't even notice right away. So I didn't even bring it up in stream that it was damaged. Um, it was like I had it in the shop inventory for a while. And it was when I was going to pick it for someone's order that I picked it up. I'm like, I uh, can't ship that one. That one's got some damage on it. Um, so I like, it's just a little bit of damage, just a little bit of plastic missing from his weapon. Um, but I, I didn't notice it right away. So I think that could be a very, that, that that's a steal for somebody. Like the, the rest of the figure looks amazing. And like I said, the damage is so little that I didn't notice it right away. Um, but I mean, technically there, there's a chunk of it missing. So go for it. Uh, bushwhack. Um, well, I have to, I have to get up and, and, uh, get my other box. So, um, let me, I, I, I can get bushwhack and show you that as well. Just a minute.
All right. Um, first question was bushwhack here. So it, it's, it's going to be hard to see on camera. I've tried to show this a few times. Um, if you can see right by his hand here, there, there's like a white line on the ax handle. And that's actually a crack that goes like 95% of the way, maybe 99% of the way through that ax. And so that causes this to, to bend. And if it gets hit in the wrong way, that ax head is just flying off. Um, so like I, I know I only noticed it because I picked it up by the ax once and like I could feel it bend. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's, it's in, in a sense, very minor damage, but also just a jolt in the wrong direction. Um, could could uh uh separate the weapon completely and then you'd be with a headless axe so i definitely have that one in the damage pile um for anybody wondering about the trap shadow because like i said i didn't show this on stream before trap shadow yeah he where's the angle there, there's the angle so this chunk of his his weapon is, is just missing and i'm guessing probably a dog or a cat got at it something bit off that piece like it doesn't even really look like there's a lot of bite marks around it though so i i don't know oh no maybe yeah because because there is a little bit of a, a few small bite marks here on his hand as well but i guess he did probably chomp down on this and managed to tear out a piece of the the trap there so but yeah, it, it, it's just the damage over there. So um, pretty minor damage on both of those, but still damaged. Uh, do you ever notice a damage piece and they have to update stock when I'm getting orders? Yeah, occasionally. So thankfully, it, it hasn't happened. Like yesterday, um, I found it was actually the light core hex that we just got yesterday. I thought it was in good condition, but then when I was putting it in the box, like I grabbed it by the head and like it wobbled. I'm like, well, that's not good. Um, and turns out, yeah, the head was actually very loose. So I had moved that over the damage pile. Um, but yeah, thankfully I haven't run across that yet where like I'm filling an order, grabbing a piece, and it's the only one in stock. And I like that hasn't happened to me yet. <laughs> like I'm sure it'll happen eventually, but that's why I try to try to check these out. Um, ahead of time as much as possible. Um, all right. Yeah, Tropez. Um, I, I I think about it every 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 day, every week. Um, I literally, no joke, get people asking me every week. It, it, can I ship to the UK? Can I ship to Australia? Can I ship to some other European country? Uh, sometimes Canada, even. Um, I've gotten questions about Mexico, Brazil. Like, yeah, people people are interested. I get it. And I would love to serve those audiences. I would love to serve those regions. Right now, it just doesn't make sense. Like, my prices look great now. Try adding $25, $30 shipping and then see if my prices still look great because like you're like oh yeah there's a you know i, I can get these three figures for a dollar 99 a piece so i only have to pay six bucks cool but then you add 25 dollars shipping to a six dollar order 31 dollars you're paying ten dollars a figure it's not worth it anymore um so it i i need to find a better way to ship or a better way to do it I, I will continue to suggest I, I've had multiple people now who do live internationally who have ordered from me using freight forwarders. Now, obviously, this makes more sense if this is if you import stuff on a regular basis. And maybe that's something you, you want to start doing. Um, but if you order through a freight forwarder, then the shipping costs are down on my end. And I found when I ship directly to Europe, my packages take about six weeks to get there. 
when I ship to the freight forwarder and the freight forwarder, well, forwards the freight to my customer in Europe, it only takes like, I, I, I shoot, I don't think he's here right now. Um, I, I think it only took two, maybe three weeks. So somehow they have a way of expediting those shipments and getting them through customs faster and stuff like that. So like, I don't know what their process is exactly, but I would recommend going that route, at least for now, until I can get something else figured out. But like, I just don't have a good way of doing it. It, it, Like it doesn't, the cost doesn't make sense and the time shipping time doesn't make sense. So I I, I want to serve as many people as possible. Absolutely. So yes, I, I think about it all the time. Um, it's just not practical at this point. Marco, welcome. Do I play? Yes, I play. Uh, love Skylanders. Um, typically Mondays and Thursdays, I have, I have a gameplay stream. Um, sometimes it's those are preempted by, um, uh, these unboxing streams and such, but yeah. All right. Slowly catching up on these. Can I sell you all your Skylanders? I, I could, but I don't think you realize how many Skylanders I have. So, uh, <laughs> Maybe Treason, maybe. I don't know. Um, put the damage figures back. What else are we looking at? Grab a drink. Okay, I think we're ready for some more unboxing. How about that? Uh, next bag. A little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. Comes from vans. Not that that matters, but <laughs> it's a little more see-through too. So they taped all these bags closed, which I mean was kind of nice to keep things in place. Usually helps with shipment, but it's a pain to open. All right. Let's see what we have in here. Well, we have <laughs> Chatterbug. You are here for the stream. Um, sevenfold? Are you serious? There, there's no way that ornament is worth four hundred dollars. Is that just an asking price or is it actually selling or is someone actually bidding $400? That doesn't make sense to me at all. Is there going to be a Zook? Probably. We we, are, we already had one actually. Uh, but Chatterbug, I'm glad you made it. We, we have started already. We, we've unloaded two bags of figures, but we got plenty more to go. Don't worry. We're, we're just getting started. Yeah, do a hand, like all these, like I said, th there were bags inside of the box and like, I appreciate them containing them instead of just throwing them all in the box because honestly, they, they usually turn out in a better condition this way. I, I'm, I'm, Tata, I'm happy to help. You're welcome. Um, yeah, sometimes we get figures. I, I list everything as used because they're out of box, but Sometimes they are legitimately, they feel like they came straight out of the box. So what's the thing about ornament? So Chatterbug, if you go check out the auctions for today, you can see scrolling across the bottom of the screen there, uh, skylanderscharacterlist.com slash auctions, or if you just go to the front page of the site and click on auctions. Um, okay, it was only an asking price, no sales. That's, that's what I anticipate. Um, but... One of the auction items we have up this week is a hot dog Christmas ornament. And that is one of the item, random items we got in a lot earlier this week. And it's up for auction today. Um, so that is, it's been getting a lot of bids. 
like I started it at one dollar. I'm like, uh, might get two or three bids. Sure, we'll get a couple bucks for this. It, last I checked, it was up to like ten fifty. So, yeah, um, people are going crazy for it. Some multiple people want this this ornament. So there you go. Uh, yes, I did. I did. We got a series one wham shell. That was the first thing we unboxed actually. So that'll be going up in the shop later today. Um, it, it won't be till late tonight when I actually get to update the shop. But yes, got a, got a series one wham shell. So watch out for that. Make sure you follow me, um, twitter.com slash SCL Matt. Uh, go follow me there because that's when I where I post to say, hey, the shop has been updated. The inventory has been updated. And so you can jump on figures right then. All right. This bag, we have another Scorpion Striker catapult. Series one Terrafin. Uh, another series one chill. Series two zap. We're getting a couple of duplicates here, but they're not bad duplicates, so I'm not complaining yet. Uh, there's series one lightning bolts. Another light core robot. First swap force, I think. There's a free ranger. So please excuse my, my little extra movements today. I'm trying to actually kind of sort these as I go a little bit, which will help me get them up in the shop faster when we're done with all this. Usually I just, you know, put them all in one pile and leave it at that. But I'm trying to kind of keep things separated a little bit more than usual. Um, is that Zap missing his teeth or is that the light? Zap, where'd you go? Uh, that was just the light, apparently. Yeah. He's, he's got his uppers and lowers. They're, they're all there. Yeah. It looks good. I uh, got a Dino Rang. And Series 2 Cinder. Uh, we're starting to get some halves of swappers here set aside. A light core eruptor. And so nice they gave it gave it to us twice. A second tree rex. It's double official. It's a double lot. There's another ninjini. Speaking of damaged bushwhack, this is exactly what is going to happen to that other damaged figure with one more good hit. That's what I was talking about. It, it that crack is right here at the top of the hand, and I I I don't know if I have the axe to go along with this one, but yeah, this is exactly what's going to happen to that other figure eventually. Uh, Courtney, I'm assuming it is. Hey, oh, oh, yes. Actually, yeah. We, we, we talk separately. Yes, this, this is the lot you think it is. We're just getting started, though. We've got a bunch of giants, uh, a few superchargers, a few SSA stuff. Nothing, nothing super big yet. Oh, oh, yeah. We had a tree rex. We had a tree rex. Thanks for the reminder. Uh, there's a swarm and series two chop chop. Yeah, it looks like all my swappers are going to be in pieces, so we'll set them aside until we get the rest of them. There is Sprocket. The one he found on eBay is apparently new in box, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't know. The the if you're talking about the ornament again, like the ornament that I have looks I mean, like it could have just come out of the box, I think. However, like that that isn't um that's not something I've ever had before or seen in person. So 
Yeah. All right, Courtney. Have a good day. <laughs> okay, we've gotten two for us. There we go. We get two for us. All right. Um, here is series one. Bash. Yeah, Doohan. I, I mean, they they fit better in packages that way. I some swappers I do do ship in halves if they fit better. Uh, but otherwise, I try to try to keep them together so people know they're all there. Yeah, I haven't seen Deja Vu yet, uh, but we do have complete washbuckler. And here is another bouncer. Hey, Sparks. One of our original Spyro friends. Uh, third Scorpion Striker. So Tropaz, the 601. For anybody that doesn't know, this is up for auction today. Skylanderscharacterlist.com slash auctions. You can go check it out. Uh, 601 is the, the 601st item that we have discovered um, as a unique collectible, unique Skylanders figure. Um, playable Skylanders figure, I guess I should say too. So... Um, 601 is the mobile hot streak. So it's the hot streak that is found in the Skylanders Superchargers starter pack for iOS. So the mobile version. Um, this this figure was unique because the when you put hot streak on the portal, that's what actually unlocked the mobile game for you. So you wouldn't have to pay for it um, from the app store. So like you could like, I think there may have been like a free version you could download or something. Um, or you could maybe, maybe you could buy the whole game separately in the app store. But if you bought the starter pack, um, then when you put hot streak on the portal, it would say, Hey, this is from the starter pack. I'm going to lock the whole game for you. So it actually shows up in the game as hot streak special and appears separately in the menu. So it's we're counting it as a separate, unique figure. It is the 601st item that we found to collect, um, and that is it's the latest item, and that's why more more and more people we're, we're trying to spread the word um, about 60, 601. For the long time, longest time we had um, 599 items. 600 was Happy Birthday Ben Starcast, and then 601 is the Mobile Hot Streak. So. Uh, we, we found one of the mobile hot streaks in one of the lots yesterday. And so it is um, available in the auction because we have no idea what to price it at yet. Yeah, Rose F. Death, go check out those auctions. Yeah, be the gamer. Um, yeah, you haven't seen anything crazy yet. I, I, I've been second guessing myself all week, honestly. I'm like, man, I might have jumped the gun on this. I might have overpaid a bit. I might have like there's some good stuff coming don't get me wrong like there's definitely some good stuff that you'll, you'll see hopefully why I, I i jumped on this um but i i'm still kind of trying second guessing myself a bit and and trying to figure like was that a good decision like d did i make the right decision i don't know i don't know we'll see but like I said, I, I, I'll always tell you how much I paid for it unless it's a, a private sale. So, yeah, you may have seen this lot on Facebook. So, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, Airship, 54 pounds. It's a big one. That's why I'm, I tried to start a little bit earlier than usual, and uh, this is going to be going all day. Yes, Happy Birthday Ben Starcast does count. Does count. It, it meets all the qualifications. Uh, will the 601 number be under the car? How would you check? So so either you buy it new in the mobile starter pack. The mo it, it's, it's the Skylander Superchargers for iOS. That's the starter pack you're looking for. Or there's no other physical way to tell out, outside. You have to put it in the game. 
and I, I can show you that later when we're testing if you're still around, but if you put it in Skylander Superchargers, you put it on the portal, it'll come up and it'll say hot streak. And then on the second line, it'll say special. And if you go into your collection menu um, in Superchargers, it'll show up separately from the regular hot streak. You'll have a regular hot streak that just says hot streak. Then you have a second one that says hot streak special. And like I said, I can I can show you all that stuff too. Um, but yeah, th there's no way to just look at the figure and know. Like we we just got a hot streak in this lot today. It could be a 601. I don't know until we put it on the portal. I, I, there, there's no way to physically look at it and say, yeah, this is 601. Um, so yeah, you have to put it on the portal. Where did I get the Disney Infinity? In these lots. Sometimes people sell lots of Skylanders and Disney Infinity together. And so then I, I like, if the Sky, like I never include, I never factor the Disney Infinity figures into my price that I pay. Like I only factor in the Skylanders figures because that's what I know. That's what I sell. So the Disney Infinity, Disney Infinity figures are always bonuses, and so I throw them in the auction for cheap. And if somebody wants them, great. Um, but you're gonna get some cheap figures that way. That's it. Does it show up special in game? Um, th it doesn't look any different in game. It looks exactly the same as regular Hot Streak. And that, that's what we were talking about. Like, we don't know whether to call it an in-game variant or a chase variant um, because it's a little bit of both. Because um, it, 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 it doesn't show up any different in-game other than in the collection menu. It will show up separately in the collection menu. Um, oh, the Ben Starcast? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, Ben Starcast is, is a chase variant. It, 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 yeah, let's just leave it at that. It, it, it's a chase, it's a chase variant. So, um, but yes, it it shows up. It, it it registers as special, but if you have the clear star cast, that will show up as the same. I believe. <laughs> Might need to make an FAQ for six to one. Yeah. Uh, I, I I do fully plan on putting out an article about not only Happy Birthday Ben, but a separate article about 601 as well. Because um, I know these are recent developments that a lot of people don't have all the information about. But yeah, we're that they're, they're legitimate figures. So <laughs> don't like 601. That is uneven. Well, who knows? I mean, we're five years removed from the last game that came out and we're still finding new figures who knows maybe there is a 602 all right speaking of figures though uh light cord robot got a bunch of those today another damage figure series one prison break with no arms kind of looks like a mech now like or a uh atst or something yeah damage figure though Series one drill sergeant. More damaged. Series one whirlwind, no head. I found our damaged bin apparently. <laughs> he looks like a Lego. Oof. All right. Uh series two chill. So this is from, from Swap Force. Series two blizzard chill. And here's our first trap. Just our life hammer trap, but trap nonetheless. Oof, yeah, this is the damage bin. Um, Hot had, like, missing an arm completely. I, I've seen the one, like, missing a flame, but his arm was still there, but this is missing an arm. Like, that was sheared off there. That's that's not just broken at the joint. That's That's broken. Like, I mean, you'd have to try to do that. Yikes. <laughs> Whirlwind is becoming the most damaged figure. Yeah. Have a lot of those. All right. Uh, here's our Series 1 Spyro. And our Series 1 Dark Spyro. We haven't had it in the shop in quite some time. 
So that'll be a welcome addition. Series one jetback. And here's another thump back. Yeah, there, there's a hot hand floating around somewhere. Uh, another life hammer. Here is Gusto with a lighter than usual uh, boomerang there. There is some blue in this yet. It's going to be hard to see on camera, but there is there is a little bit of blue in it. It's not completely clear. Here is uh, Series 1 Terrafin. Uh, more Swapper halves. Another Broken Series 1 e uh, Igniter. I keep wanting to call him an Imaginator. Series 1 Igniter without his sword. Um, like, it's it's gone. Like, it's out of both hands. It's, usually I see it, it's just broken off at the top hand here. But, no, it's completely gone out of both hands. Almost makes me wonder again if someone removed it to use as, like, a custom piece or something. Uh, series 1 Trigger Happy. Uh, Sky Iron Shield. Series 1 Pop Fizz. Another Series 1 Trigger Happy. Uh, series 1 Gil Grunt. And a damaged Zook. Missing into complete right arm and his bazooka. Um, not going to do a, lot, a whole lot of damage that way. Oh boy, here we go. Third, Tree Rex. Let's hear it for Tree Rex. Give it up. Give it up. All right, and there is a Blast Zone complete. It's trigger Happy, the Skylander, I have most in stock. No. No, actually, it's Food Fight right now. Food, it's been Food Fight for a while, partly because I keep getting Food Fight and Food Fight doesn't sell. Whereas, like, uh, Trigger Happy actually sells from time to time. Um, and Spyro sells, Gil Grunt sells. Uh, the, the other starter pack characters sell from time to time. <laughs> um, but for whatever reason, Food Fight, People don't really buy him much. Okay, let's just get all these out of the way. There's another. Make it four. Make it a four. four. Come on, this is a real lot. We're making up. Uh, but it's a real lot with damaged figures as well. So there's our damaged Series 2 Gil Grunt missing with Harpoon again. We have one of these up for sale in the auction today, actually, with the exact same damage. Um, but we did have a good one of these earlier, if someone's looking for that. So, All right, here's a hothead intact this time, in case you forgot what he was supposed to look like. Here's another trigger happy. Okay, after today, maybe... <laughs> Maybe uh, we do have the most trigger heavies. Quite a few of them today. Uh, Light Core Prison Break. Volcanic Eruptor. Variant we haven't seen in a little while. Uh, Legendary Bouncer. Series 2 Terrafin. Series 2 Whirlwind. Series 1 Jetback. And our other starter pack traps, the Water Tiki. 
Oh, if anyone's curious, I do in fact have uh top half of blaster or bushwax whichever way this goes. Bushwax axe. Um I do have that piece. So that will be available. Got a series one double treble. And series one shroom boom. Found one of Prison Break's arms. Let's see here. Is this your upper or lower? I think it's your lower. Ooh. This arm is all chewed up though. Oof. Yeah. That's dog damage. All right, another damaged Series 2 Chop Chop. I'm going to have to get a separate box for damaged figures now. Next time I get up. Uh, series 1 Sprocket. And the Winged Boots. More magic items. Healing Elixir. <laughs> yeah, Doolahan for a while. Best Buy had way too many of those volcanic eruptors. They were they were trying to give them away with anything. Uh Flashwing. Original series one. A uh, nice variant though. Here is Granite Crusher. A few more magic items here. Another Sky Iron Shield and Hidden treasure. The real hidden treasure. Huh. Random camo sticker from SSA. Still intact. I mean, kind of bent up, but still intact. Uh, series 2 Shroom Boom. Another Dragonfire Cannon. Love how these trap team figures are just randomly inserted in here amongst all the SSA and Giants. Uh, but we have a mini Barkley. So mini red base Barkley. Here's your standard crusher. <laughs> Keep the sticker. I I I don't usually do much with the stickers. I don't know. Like I, I started collecting cards at one point, but I, I don't think I ever finished. Uh, Washbuckler, again. Come on, top halves. Uh, there's another Blast Zone. And another Dragonfire Cannon. Uh, series 3 Ninja Stealth Elf. Put the stickers above the camo collection. Uh, I'm not putting stickers on the wall. Uh, Light Core Eruptor. Uh, Star Wars Teen, yeah. We, we have, we've had a lot of tree wrecks. We've had four tree wrecks. It's like we've had three blast zones now. There's a swarm. Oh, shoot. Well, here's a hot dog. His tail is there, but he can wag his tail. So that's about five seconds away from falling off. Um, so that's damaged. There's another hidden treasure. Hey, I found Hothead's hand. The hot hand. Uh, let's see. We do have parts here. There is Gorilla Drilla. And the Ghost Swords. 
Series 1 Stealth Elf. Knocking over my water bottle. I, oh, Series 1 Stealth Elf. You can't do that for me, Siri. Okay. I gotcha. And Rattle Shake. And that's the end of that bag. Um, let's see. I have one more bag here before I have to get up again. So let's get to it. And I know so far this lot doesn't feel like, you know, $950, right? This has just been SSA Giants. Relatively common stuff. A few decent pieces here and there. Like I said, we had an S1 Wham Shell and an S2 Spyro, but... Uh, Nothing really to write home about. So we'll see. We'll see. We're no we're nowhere near done yet. I mean, regardless, this we've already been through what, at least a hundred figures, maybe maybe closing in on two hundred. I don't know. It's been a lot of giant stuff, that's for sure. Speaking of giants, though, well, let's see. <laughs> Didn't know I had PS5. Well, you, you don't watch enough of my streams. I've, I've, I've been, I've had this since I've started streaming. That's the only reason I can stream. Building the suspense, not intentionally, because like these, I, I, I'm just taking them out as they come out of the box. And like I said, they're in bags, and most of them, like, they're in opaque bags. I can't see what's inside. So we'll take them as they come, but uh, yeah, another crusher. And there he is, folks. Number five. Number five. Series one zap. Good to have back. So Mike and I, I would have been playing on the PS4, um, except like shortly before I wanted to do this, my PS4 got zapped. We, we think it was from a thunderstorm or something. Um, but yeah, I couldn't get it to work. And so I went PS5 shopping. Like I'd get one eventually. I, I'm not usually one to buy new consoles within the first year they come out. Usually I wait for demand to go down and look for a good sale or something or you know i don't know like i know this is the earliest i've ever gotten a new console so yeah it, it was more out of need than than just want um got a damaged eyebrow here this one's been chewed up a bit you can see his fist there and his foot down here a little bit um yeah damage pile Series one spiral. Uh, damaged snapshot. His shot snapped a little bit. The bow broke off here. I yeah, Mike and I. Honestly, if you know where to look and how to look and how to work the system, you can get one pretty quick. I, 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 not trying to brag, but if you dedicate some time to it, I was able to actually get two PS5s within about a week. Um, it, it's, I, I ordered the second one because I, I didn't trust the first one that was coming from Walmart. Um, so the second one was coming from Sony direct. And so as soon as the one from Sony Direct shipped, I tried to go back and cancel the Walmart one, but it had already shipped. They just didn't send me an email saying, hey, this one shipped. Um, so I had two shipped here, and then I sold one off. But um, yeah. My point being, like, if you really want one, you can get one. <laughs> My PS4 was zapped. Yes. 
Uh, here's another trigger happy for you. Anyone keeping the count on those? There's another Sparks. S1 Gil Grunt. And a Free Ranger. Uh, another damaged Series 1 Prism Break. Only one arm. The arm that is there has been chewed off. The crystal. Man, that's rough. Series 1 Eruptor. Uh, another Dragon's Peak. Yeah, this is our second one today. Got another Sunburn. Good to see that. Fully intact today. Series 1 Spyro. Here's a damaged Drobot. Zero wings. Yikes. To be honest, I wasn't expecting this much damage either. Um, at least they're all on relatively cheap characters. Like, I knew... I, th th there was a section of this lot that was like, hey, these are duplicate figures, um, so I didn't really care about it too much. But apparently a lot of them were damaged. Uh, there's Snapshot's bow. Got another healing elixir. Here is another Rattleshake. And Washbuckler. Robo, nice. You got the Snow Red Stormblade. I'm glad that worked out. Uh, Crusher. Getting a lot of halves of swappers again. Oh, here's another Rattleshake. Take these all day. Rattlesnake's a great character. Nothing jade or polar yet, no. Ooh, another sunburn. Very welcome. And uh, Series 1 Whirlwind, intact. Two wings, one head, one tail. It's all there today. On that figure, at least. Um, damaged series three stealth elf missing an arm. Series one sonic boom. <laughs> could I do like Pokemon and make a rare figure black in the thumbnail? I could, but it's not not how I usually go about it. Like honestly, th that that would, I, I I think that'd ruin the fun of some of it sometimes. Is that the third sunburn today? I think it's only the second. Pretty sure it's only a second sunburn. Uh, pirate seas. Yes, the indestructible tale of whirlwind. Series two, trigger happy coins intact. Uh, yeah, damaged. Mini Genie, Mini Mini Genie, Headless. And there's Boomer. Oh no, you can never have too much sunburn, come on. Uh, parts of Swappers, parts of Swappers. Intact Snapshot. Uh, there is another washbuckler. Uh, series one flame slinger. Bow's bent a bit, but still intact. And a damaged voodoo, missing the top of his axe there. Uh, series one cinder. Series 
Series one, chop chop. Uh, there's complete night shift. Gilgrunt, S1. A lot more halves of swappers, but I think some of them go together. Uh, we got our first hoot loop. And another rattle shake. Enjoy breakfast. Another blast zone. And a food fight. Go have a food fight at breakfast, right? Every time you pull out a broken figure, you look a little more disappointed. Yeah, I'm not a fan of broken figures. They're, they're, they're a lot harder to move. And that's why I'm trying what I am today in the auction to, to have way too many rattle shakes. Come on, Star Teen. Well, here's another one. <laughs> So is that one that's five rattle shakes today um but no the damage figures like um it's i mean not, not a lot of people want to buy them and so that's why i i created a lot of 30 of them today selling it for 10 bucks i mean it's like 30 cents a skylander it's got to be worth it for someone right uh s1 spyro Empire Vice and Series One Eruptor. Have I been able to find custom Imaginators? I'm, oh, like, no, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Um, uh, since the official website is gone, is there any way to make a wish list on another website? Yes, I would highly recommend another website I own called collectioncrossing.com. Collectioncrossing.com um, has all your Skylanders listed there, as well as some other things if you collect other Toys to Life stuff and whatnot. Um, you can even make custom collections if you, if you want. So, um yeah, I would recommend going to collectioncrossing.com. Try that out. See if that meets your needs. At what point do I throw them out? <laughs> Three weeks and you're out. Um, I I really don't like throwing out Skylanders. I haven't done it yet. Um, but yeah, it, it, if I'm not able to move enough of them, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I, like I said, I haven't reached that point yet, but I'm slowly getting to that point where the damage ones are just starting to pile up more and more, especially when I buy really big lots. Like today, like I said, I'm going to have to get my damage box over here so I can just dump all these into it. Um, cause there's going to be a lot, it looks like. So we'll see. Um, I'm out of figures for the moment, so I have to get up again and, uh, Get some more out of the big box. So give me a minute. I'll be right back. Just gonna show these off quickly. Just pulled some portals out. There's two SSA portals, uh, trap team and 
Swap Force Portal, they're all for Xbox 360. All right. Um, Alec, you haven't missed a whole lot yet. It's been a lot of common stuff, honestly. <laughs> Wolf Shadow, I, I, I do actually, I, I did have one waiting screen I made for my 12-hour... Um, but I, I could, yeah, I could make more. This just doesn't happen that often that I actually have to get up in between streams and such. Um, all right. So there are the portals I just showed off. A couple other extra things here. So you may have seen these before. They are the Skylanders game controllers. Um, these are made by Power A. So this one, I mean, it's a it's an Xbox controller. Like I said, everything else was for Xbox 360. So I'm assuming that's what this is for as well. Um, but yeah, it has Tree Rex. And on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is something like, of course, I, I, I can't test this because I don't have an Xbox, but I will sell it in auctions at some point if somebody wants it even just as a collector's piece so yeah there's a skylanders xbox controller and then this of course got damaged a bit in shipping because that's what happens when you ship stuff in a giant box and just pile it on top of each other um but we have an xbox one starter pack for superchargers so as far as i can tell this is still sealed i think well eh, no it may have been opened at one point but i can see game in there there's a portal and of course you can see the figures in the window so um looks like a complete xbox one starter pack this will go up for auction again All right, um, I got some more figures though. Actually, first let's let's go through the stack of games. Like I said, a lot of games. Xbox 360. Um, so I don't know what they were doing here. They, they they must have bought a bunch of lots too, like I did for their collection. Um, so they have three copies of Spyro's Adventure for 360 two copies of giants one of swap force and one of superchargers all for 360 um these cases aren't all in the best shape like there's some damage there you can see but most of them are in decent shape at least 
And like, I know we had someone asking yesterday, Xbox 360, SSA, case, disc, and and booklet. It's all there. Um, I mean, like I said, I wouldn't say this case is in mint condition, but all the contents are there. Um, if someone's looking for that, so yeah. If if anyone has wants Xbox 360 games, I have just about all of them now. All right, now back to the figures. I have another uh, SSA carrying case. I've had a few of these before, sold a few of these before. I think I still have some in stock. They even try to protect them in here, putting the little cardboard in there. Let's see what they included here. <laughs> Ran another random card and sticker. Uh, Giants lightning rod card and sticker. Once again, kind of bent up, but there. Probably see those in auction someday when I get some more cards. All right. So here we have the Pirate Seas. And there's my boy Camo. <laughs> see the extra case and thing need these custom sleeves from made up skylanders games well good luck uh series one stealth elf and a series one flame slinger series one whirlwind empire vice So this feels maybe like it was more of the collection and everything we've been through so far is a lot of duplicates. So we'll see how that plays out, but that that might be the case. Um, here's Sparks. There is Sunburn. And Ghost Roaster. Series 1 Zap. Voodoo, healing elixir, uh, S one slam bam, uh, Skadoosh. No, this is not the last bag. We, 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 I still got a bunch more to go. Uh, series one terrafin. Series one wrecking ball. Series one robot. Series one double trouble. And like I said, I think these are all that's to say in this bag. So we'll just go drill sergeant, boomer, sonic boom. Uh, here's a new one legendary chop chop. Looking good there. Uh, Warnado. Gil Grunt. Zook. Lightning Rod. Cinder. Oh, damage text. No arms. Uh, prison break. There you go. Intact. Now, that would be surprising if, like, after all these figures, they couldn't get a Series 1 hex intact. Uh, Bash. Spyro. Eruptor, Ghost Swords, Sky Iron Shield, Winged Boots, and then Time Twister, it's the Hidden Treasure, it's 
Thumb smash. Anvil rain. And dino rang. Uh, how do you add things into your collection in Collection Crossing? If you go to, um, I think you have to click on My Lists, and like once you create the list in the My in the My List section, there will be an Add button that you can. It'll take you to the appropriate list, and you can add everything there. All right, so that was it for that bag. There you go. Got another bag from Panda Express. Quite the variety of bags. I apologize for the extra noise. All right. Uh, this appears to be mostly swap force, I think. So we got our super gulp pop fizz. And here's a free ranger. Another blast zone. Slobber tooth. Bumble Blast, Series 1. Uh, Light Core Wham Shell. Maybe not the one you're looking for, but currently out of stock in the shop, so I'll take it. Uh, Light Core Grim Creeper. Knockout Terrafin. Uh, Light Core Star Strike. There's Popthorn. <laughs> Got a lot of multiples of Blackout and Spotlight. Yeah, that would be quite amazing. Uh, Spyro, Series 3. This is a Battle Hammer. Scorp. Uh, Lava Barf Eruptor. Uh, everybody's favorite, Rattle Shake. Uh, Sheep Wreck Island. It's going to call it Sheep Creep Island. That, that would be a fun level, Sheep Creep Island. Magna Charge. Rubble Rouser. Blizzard Chill. Uh, here is Nitro Freeze Blade. <laughs> that comment was sus. No, it's not. Not at all. Uh, countdown. Lightcore Warnado. Twin Blade Chop Chop. Now, if I said everybody's favorite Zulu, that might be a little sus. Boom Jet. Gorilla Drilla. Another Battle Hammer. Roller Brawl. Series 1. 
Riptide. Series 1 Grim Creeper. Enchanted Hoot Loop. Fire Kraken. Spy Rise. A couple of magic items, Platinum Sheep and a Groove Machine. No, Master Robo, you ha really haven't missed much yet. We're still working on it. Uh, series 1 Star Strike. Fiery Forge. Sky Diamond. Washbuckler. Uh, a lot of halves. Stealth Elf. There's a Night Shift. Archean Crossbow. And that's that bag. Uh, which means I have to get up and get some more again. So, excuse me. Here, you want a screen? Man, I'm glad you couldn't see that. I almost knocked over my PS5. That would have been rough. <sighs> okay. Give me some more water. All right. I have four containers of figures left. And... I, I I think I figured where where my my money figures are at. They they they're in the in the bottom of the box in the uh, hard cases. Okay, so that that I appreciate that they tried to protect them a little bit more. They knew what they were doing. Um, it's got a little bag here today. I uh, found this at the very bottom. Um, more giants. Really got into the giants here. Um, Biggie John, I, I, I'm working on that, that there is an official list. Um, and I, I am going to post it, it like it, it's in a Google doc right now. Um, and I'm going to post access to it on the site shortly. Um, I I've gotten permission to do that. So that's something I'm working on. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that official list out there. Cause yeah, exactly. I figured more people would want it anyway. Um, light cord robot, another dragon fire cannon, time twister, uh, tower of time, 
man, I'm, I, I think I'm going to be able to get through this a lot faster than anticipated, which is kind of cool. It's going to take forever to scan all these, but um, Dragonfire Cannon. Food Fight. Uh, Sonic Boom, Series 2. Series 1, Pop Fizz. Uh, series 2, Stealth Health. Damaged. Series 1, Chill. Got a couple of traps, another Water Tiki, and an Undead Skull. Huh, that's one I don't see every day. Uh, damaged Shroom Boom. He, he's got his arms... But his hands are missing. So his weapons and everything. Like once again, this this almost looks potentially intentional. Like they wanted to use parts of him for a custom figure or something like that. Yeah. Put that to the side. Uh series one jetvac. Uh, a couple more pop fizz here. Well, one pop fizz and uh, damaged pop fizz. The fingers, his hand got chewed up, I think. That one goes there. This one goes here. We got a bop. A few more shroom booms. Uh, both a standard and a light core. Another damaged hothead, missing the other arm this time. That one looks like it just came off at the joint, though. Uh, found that sword for Chop Chop, for one of them at least. Uh, another damaged stealth elf, missing an arm. And another damaged S2 go grunt. All right, that bag's down. All right, we have three. So there's two storage cases and one box left. So we'll get there. We are getting there. So little priority mailbox, uh, medium flat rate box. This seems to be trap team, I think. Pretty much. So we got a wildfire. A uh, bunch of traps here. We got magic log holder. Uh, water tiki. Life hammer. Water jug head. Or, sorry, air jug head. Earth hammer. Life Torch, small potential to be villain variant. I wouldn't, eh, eh, maybe, maybe. Uh, Earth Totem, this could be a variant. Ooh, Undead uh, Captain's Hat. That, that one's a little harder to find. Magic Rocket. Another undead skull. Jawbreaker. Fire torch. Head rush. Another food fight. Lobstar. There's our Series 4 Gil Grunt. Gusto. Actually, our second Gusto. Uh, snapshot intact. I think, yep. Kaboom! Kaboom! 
Hey, here's one we haven't seen in a while. Crypt King, welcome back. Blaster Mind. That's why I don't have pets, folks. Shortcuts been cut short. Like, seriously. Control your pets. Keep your figures away from pets. Uh, Bushwhack. Popfist. Treadhead. Fist bump. Full blast jetpack. Trailblazer. Uh, maybe a damage trailblazer. There's supposed to be something on the head there, right? I know we've gotten a few of these recently. I I, I don't remember though. Um, shoot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's damage. Uh, but we do have an undamaged flip rack. Torch. Uh, sure shot shroom boom. Chopper. And oh, seriously. Well, that sucks. So, can you see that? You see one fin there? It's a little bit short. Right here? Yeah. It's the damaged echo. It's a damaged echo. It's kind of dusty, too. Like, dust you can clear off, but, uh, shoot. Well, someone's going to get a cheap Echo, um, assuming it works, but yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, we're not done yet, though. <laughs> How much? I I don't even want to hypothesize on a damaged Echo right now. Um, that was disappointing because I knew that was supposed to be in there, but I didn't realize it was damaged. Um. Yeah, it's going to happen eventually. I mean, I'm charging 60 right now on the site. I usually go, like I said, 50 to 75% on damaged figures. Echo's rare, so I'd probably want to lean towards the 75%. Um, especially since it's, it, it's a small amount of damage. It really is, but it, like I, I can't sell it as a regular figure. Um, so what, what does that put it at? Like 45 Maybe 40. I don't know if that, if that seems reasonable. All right. We're not done yet. The last two boxes we have are these giant, giant storage containers. Um, we've seen these before. We have a few of these in, in the shop. So this one is actually only half full. A little bit surprising, but I'll deal with it. All right. Got some... Are these all variants? Almost. Not quite. <laughs> Everything in here is a variant, except for Hyper Beam Prism Break. Um, yeah. All right. Then we have some legendaries. Legendary Zulu. 
and our legendary swappers. We have legendary uh, free ranger and legendary night shift. Uh, it looks like I'm not going to find the other halves of these. I did have a top half of Washbuckler and the bottom half of another legendary Free Ranger. Those are left over, but I think I'm past the point of finding their halves, so just let you know about those. I uh, got another, oh, also not a variant, Hoot Loop. But we do have some dark variants, so Dark Blast Zone. Dark Washbuckler. Dan, we're just getting into the good stuff. You, the, the first two hours, honestly, you didn't miss that much. Uh, Dark Spyro. Hang out for the next 20 minutes. You'll see everything you need to see. And a Heavy Metal Sprockets. This is the Best Buy exclusive before they came out with the steel-plated named in-game variant. This is technically a chase variant, but it has a very similar color scheme, a better color scheme, if you ask me. And, uh, yeah. It is what it is. Uh, here's another volcanic eruptor. A springtime trigger happy. Just the standard version, not the flocked variant. Uh, okay, also not technically a variant. Sorry, light core countdown. I missed a few in here, I guess. There's our dark slobber tooth to round out the dark figure. Although we didn't have dark stealth elf, but it's okay. We have plenty of those. Uh, legendary or not? Yeah, let. Legendary Light Core Grim Creeper. There you go. Sometimes those names get me. Uh, Jolly Bumble Blast. And now we get to the first of the really exciting stuff. I'm glad, like I said, these were protected. I'm glad, like, they're out of box, but... They are protected in these cases and seem to be in good condition here. Just want to double check these before I get disappointed again. Okay. So, are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Settle down on the Zulu hate, please. Zulu is not that bad. And I, I will, well, I won't block you. I'll give you a timeout or something, whatever you can, whatever you can do in this program. But here, here's our first big find. It's going to be really hard to see in this lighting. Here's your free to lay clear firebone hot dog, purple flame firebone hot dog. So that's our first major chase variant here. And like I said, I, I have these in my collection in box. So these are probably going to end up as auction items. Uh, the second one I have here, go right along with it. Green flame, Frito-Lay, Firebone, Hot Dog, Clear, whatever, whatever you want to call this guy, man. Like Firebone Hot Dog was already a long name. And it's like, well, add Frito-Lay, add Crystal Clear, add Green Flame. Yeah. Like I said, th these seem to be intact in great condition. Their tail is intact. Uh, the coloring's all there. Um, you can see the tail on the last one. Purple tail's there. It's all good. So we got those. We got those. Those are looking good. Those are looking real good, actually. I've never been able to hold them out of box because, like I said, I've kept mine in box. They, look, they actually look really nice out of box. They do. 
like that that clear part i like that all right let me grab the other one All right, this one is a little bit more full than the last one. And it is, once again, like 90% variance. <laughs> Alec, you, you are free to unsub at any time you want, but no, there is no red flame. I only got the purple and the green in this lot. I apologize. I uh, had no idea you were so attached to the red flame. Uh, so, Doolahan, we do have print numbers um, here. Let me let me just look this up again. So, what we have, unfortunately, is like o only the numbers they they necessarily needed to give. And so, since they were all part of one giveaway, um, they only needed to give total numbers for the entire giveaway. So what we don't have is a breakdown of how many red, how many green, how many purple. I've gone ahead and made the assumption that they're probably equal. Um, so here, the, I, I found the article I wrote about. The official rules state that there will be 5,856 prizes. If we assume that there's an equal amount of each of the three colors, that means there is 1,952 of each color. So just under 2,000 of each is what we're assuming, what I'm assuming. Um, but I don't know for sure. We know there are about 6,000 prizes given away, but that's that's about all we know for sure. Uh, Skadoosh, you just missed the first big reveal. Green and purple, flame, firebone hot dogs. Um, and now we're into the final container here. Where, like I said, th th I believe this is all variants. Uh, for the most part, or at least 95% variants. There may be some stragglers in here. But, yeah, this is going to be the good stuff. So... Stick around, folks. Stick around. Uh, we got a gnarly tree rex. Got another granite crusher. Got a scarlet ninjini. And another legendary bouncer. Got the first legendary jet vac. A glow in the dark sonic boom. And it's, I mean, not perfectly clean. Got some uh, colors on it from rubbing up against other figures, as they all do. It's when you take them out of the box. Unfortunately, our molten hot dog is damaged. No tail. But we do have another Golden Flameslinger, the Amazon exclusive Golden Flameslinger. Uh, here is our Polar Whirlwind, GameStop exclusive Polar Whirlwind, the best Whirlwind figure in my opinion. All right, and a Jade Flashwing. Haven't seen her in a little while. Good to have her back. There's a Pumpkin Eyebrow. Here's our Series 2 Drobot. It was missing earlier. Uh, glow in the Dark Cinder. Um, hmm. 
So here is a sidekick mini genie. So orange base. But I'm going to go ahead and put her in damaged because it looks like she's been glued back together. Like there, there is some definite gluing going on there. May have been glued twice even. Yikes. That's unfortunate. Uh, here's a metallic green gill grunt. Um, Alec, what are you talking about? What? Why are his arms like that? I I mean pumpkin eyebrow. This this is pumpkin eyebrow. It's what they all look like. Not sure what you're what what you're wondering about. Uh, there is Legendary Igniter. Legendary Slam Bam. Legendary Stealth Elf. Jumping around, we have Metallic Green Shroom Boom. Have Punch Pop Fizz. Oh, come on. We have a damaged headless legendary light court show. That's unfortunate. All right. Um, but then. Another big reveal time. You ready for this? You ready for this? Uh, this one, thankfully, seems to be in good condition. I'm not finding any flaws with it yet. It's looking good to me. We have metallic purple lightning rod. So this is kind of kind of color shift, purple and blue, uh, metallic red lightning rod. We, we've, I know some people early on kind of called them like blurple because we couldn't decide if it was blue or purple. I mean, it, it it's color shift between the two. Um, but yeah, it looks good. It looks good. So. Uh, we'll set that one over here by our hot dogs. But we're not done yet. We're not done. We're still working on this. We're still going. All right. Got ourselves a legendary jawbreaker. One of his raised, arms was raised a lot more than usual. The other arm was lower. Are you sure about that? I don't have another eyeball to compare it to right now. It's buried in my box. But I don't... Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. Does that look better? Does that look better for you? I have seen that happen before. Yeah. The arm actually has some ability to rotate in the socket. And so like it's a little bit loose, but it's it's not going anywhere. So yeah. I'm I'm probably not gonna call it auction item yet. Everything's still intact. Thank you for calling that up though. All right. Um got ourselves another Enigma. There's Bop. Nightlight. I think he's been out for a while. Uh, yes, there was a light core chill. That was fairly early on. Uh, we got another mini Barkley. There's 
There's a nightmare to go along with our nightlight. 50% off any order for pointing it out. No, nope, no, nope. it's not quite how it works. Small fry. Trigger snappy. Gil runt. These are all minis, by the way. Red base minis. Uh, hijinks. Drobit. And spry. Uh, we found another trap. We got the light owl trap. And here is your dark wildfire. Sunscraper Spire. So I guess got, they got the light expansion pack. I don't think they have the dark one, though. Speaking of dark, we do have another Dark Spyro, Series 1 Dark Spyro. Oh, and I have a few people looking for this before. Legendary Spyro. So SSA Legendaries, I had a few of those today. And Sidekicks. Who wants some Sidekicks? SSA Sidekicks. Terabyte, Whisper Elf, the original, Green Base, Trigger Snappy, and Gil Runt, the full set of SSA um, sidekicks. All right, we're getting down to the bottom here. Uh, speaking of the SSA legendaries, we have legendary bash and legendary trigger happy. We've got a red drill sergeant and a blue bash. Surprisingly, not a green gill grunt, but oh well. All right. Let's do this. Recognize this guy? Got ourselves another flock stump smash. I got mine on my shelf there. So uh, this one goes in the shop. This one goes in the shop. I'm so glad this one survived. This one's going to be questionable riding around in a giant box going to be really hard to see as well. See that one? It's a crystal clear stealth elf. Once again, this one will most likely be an auction item. Not high on my list of chase variants that I want. So, yeah, probably be auction. But I'm just glad she, she survived the ride. I don't know if you can see it, but my hand is shaking right now. This lot is crazy. Okay, I, I, I'm glad you feel it's going better. One last figure. One last figure. Found it. I found it. We got it. We got it. We got red camo. Intact. Oh, so good. So good. 
Yeah. Very happy about this one. This one's sticking with me. This one's sticking with me. I'm keeping this one, yes. I, I, I'm i absolutely keeping him. Like I said, I, I may have overreacted to this a lot a little bit. Like, I I saw this, and then I saw the other variants, and like, it's got to be worth the price tag. It's got to be worth the price tag, right? I don't know. I don't know. But... Like, I, I, I don't know if it is, but I, I paid money already. I have the lot. Here it is. This guy's going to my collection. Um, The other five major chase variants. So, Crystal Clear Stealth Elf. Purple Flame Hot Dog. Green Flame Hot Dog. Uh, Metallic Purple Lightning Rod. And Flock Stump Smash. Those will all be auction items at some point. Over the next, like, I have my next month of auctions planned out now. So this week we're working with uh, Patina Erupter. Um, but expect to see... Pro- I, I think I'm going to stretch them out a little bit. Probably just one of these each week for the next uh, five weeks. Um, but this guy, this guy you'll, you'll just see up here on the shelf. Join the family. I need to space those out better so you can actually see them all. But... Um, yeah, folks. Uh, that is the lot. So it only took about two and a half hours to unbox. My camo collection is complete. I have all the camos, even the custom. I mean, <laughs> the camo I never thought I'd have. Um, so yeah, that's what we got. So, so didn't go, um, th- that's going to be the thing though. It, it, it's an SSA chase variant. And so the SSA chase variants don't show up as special in the game. That's the problem that we had with, uh, the flock stump smash. Like they, they didn't start tagging them as special or rare until giants. And they didn't start giving them starting them at level five with the 2100 gold until giants. So unfortunately, it, it, I'm not going to be able to, to track that. Uh, five super rare chase. So five that are going in the shop or, or in, the, in the auction, six if you count red camo. So we had uh, crystal clear stealth elf, the purple flame hot dog, green flame hot dog, Metallic, Purple, Lightning Rod, and Flocked Stump Smash. I would include him as well. Um, So those five plus Red Camo. Oh, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll still put him on the portal. Probably just reset him, if nothing else. But uh, are there surefire ways to safely clean a Flocked figure? Um, I mean, are we just talking about like dust? I mean, if it's like stained or something, I don't know. I I don't know how I'd go about that. I I would say no, there's probably not a surefire way. Um, if we're talking just about like dust, I would say a like regular, regular cleaning would be number one. Um, if you have them out in the open, I would go. Like I would go like compressed air um to try to clean it off. Yeah, little little if there's little marks on the fur, I I mean, I think most things you do to try to clean it is more likely to take the flocking off the figure rather than actually clean it. I mean, it's it's so fine and so like that the the fibers that they use are so short, but that's what the flocking is. It's just, um, I don't know that there's really a good way to go about it. If anybody else knows anything, please feel free to share, but I don't know of anything. Um, oh, I, I do have one more half I forgot about. I got the top half of a nitro magna charge laying around. So three more halves to join the half shelf. Hello. Let me just double check if I have the other halves.
No, no, that's going to be three more for the shelf. Um, so those are at minimum half the price of the entire lot. Yeah, the, the Echo was definitely damaged. You know, it's unfortunate. But yeah, okay. Joel, welcome. I'm glad you could have to catch the stream. Um, cause yeah, I mean, I got, I got a fair number of variants, a fair number of, you know, mid range, like even just like nightlight, nightmare, enigma, that type of thing. Um, those are decent figures and then just hundreds of other figures. So, um, yeah, overall, I mean, it's going to be a decent lot, it, it, but it is going to be a lot of product to try to move. So I'm going to have to uh, keep things rolling, keep the shop going, and, and see what we can do. But I now I'm going to have to work through and uh, get all this sorted and get all this put away because um, I still got more lots coming. This isn't the end of it. I have a few more on the way. Uh, Wolf Shadow, there was not a Midnight Museum. There's only a Sunscraper Spire. Am I sold out of Midnight Museum? I don't I don't recall offhand. Let's see, go check out the shop. And then you know what we haven't done in a while? I haven't uh search midnight. Out of stock. Okay. Uh, we haven't checked on those auctions in a while. How are those auctions doing? So I got done with this faster than I anticipated. Um, see if there's any big changes here. So the mobile hot streak is still going 1550. The books are up to 550 a piece. That's cool. Uh, Darth Vader has a bid. Trap Shadow has a bid. Cobra has a bid. Slipwreck has a bid. The ornaments still at 1050. <laughs> uh, Chaos Trap at two dollars. Patina Eruptor at 2850. Uh, no bids, no bids. A damage prison break has a bid now. That's cool. So yeah, still a bunch of stuff with no bids. Um, check out that, well, one, if anyone's interested in Disney Infinity, got some starter lots up there that should be really cheap for you. Uh, one that works for Nintendo or PlayStation and one that works for Xbox 360. Um, the damaged Skylanders lot. I'm trying something new there. You get 30 Skylanders for 10 bucks. I I mean, I'm hoping it's worth it for somebody. Um so yeah, a lot of good stuff there yet. Now the fun part of the stream. Yeah. Well, first of all, I'm gonna take a break. Um, I'm gonna keep the stream going. So it's all one stream. But uh, yeah, I do need to rearrange a few things. I'm going to take a quick bio break and uh, then I will be back to start testing and resetting. And hopefully all this stuff works. So give me a moment and um, I'll be back at it. Thanks for sticking around.
All right, I'm back. Looks like we lost a lot of our crowd. I understand. It's already been a two and a half hour stream. And the second part is just a replication of the first part, right? Um, I did see somewhere here, I had someone asking questions. Um, do, 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 do. So Kyle, I don't know if you're on the stream right now, but if you are, uh, the 20% VIP discount does count for portals as well. So the 20% VIP discount will work on anything that is in the SCL shop. So it works on portals, games, figures. It does not work on auction items. That That's the only thing it doesn't work on right now. Um, so I'll reply to you here. Um, But yes, just for anyone else out there wondering too. Um, it works on portals and games as well. Just not on auction items. So, yeah. I know that's that's a little bit confusing sometimes for people because I mean it's something new. Something that not everybody's used to. And it's honestly it's it's more of a discount than than people are usually expecting. So yeah, that is definitely something that is available if you are interested. So yeah, uh that does work though. So, um, let's get back into the scanning. You don't see many legendary dark or chase range for SSA. Glad to see they'll be gotten quick. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the only dark was Spyro. There there were four legendaries. Um legendary trigger happy I see fairly often, but the others were in a triple pack. And like I said, I, I don't understand. I see legendary chop chop pretty often. But they came in a triple pack. Why don't I see the other two just as often? Legendary Bash and Legendary Spyro. They came they were distributed right alongside. So like I don't know what happens with those that I don't see them quite as often. Um, but that is the case. So uh the, yeah, the, then the chase variants, like I've I've owned very, very few chase legendary chase variants or, or SSA chase variants. So it's great to see them. People like Bash and Spyro. People like Chop Chop too, man. I don't know. But the red and blue look sweet, yeah. I like the green one the best, but green's my favorite color. I mean, I, I have them up here. Green Gil Grunt. Um, the, the the red and blue were actually easier to come by, I feel. Because the green one, you had to buy uh, an Xbox console to get it the first time around at retail. Whereas Blue Bash was just at Toys R Us, and um, Red Drill Sergeant was just at Walmart. Like they were, they were pretty easy to come by, but yeah, nowadays they don't pop up quite as often. So, um, we need to get, the game in here so we can actually see what's going on. All right. Um, where, where to start, where to start. Need another box is what I need, so I can transfer stuff between boxes. I kind of filled up all my boxes ahead of time. That was maybe a mistake. Um, how about that box that I threw away? Just a moment.
is still isn't the best option. I don't know. It might be a start though. All right. Uh, a bit backwards with the colors. Yeah. You think Toys R Us would get red, Walmart would get blue. I can see that. Yeah. Like the Xbox with the green made a lot of sense. Um, but I think the the biggest part of it was um, that Walmart or, or, or the, the blue bash was the result of the uh, Facebook contest like th- there was a vote they, they were making they, they were making bash first and the fans actually got to vote whether they made them red blue or green and the fans decided on blue and so i think whatever won that contest i think that's what toys r us was getting like they, they didn't tell you that up front but i'm pretty sure that's what was happening um so yeah so, so the the broken figures. I just realized that I put them in a box with broken figures from the last unboxing, and so now they're kind of mixed together. So here, I, I, I'll I'll do these two that I kept out separate. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I kind of messed that one up. So I I might just do those later. But thank you for the reminder. Noteworthy numbers. Right. Echo works. That's good to know. Let's make some noise. Excluding chase variants and traps. You need ten. Need ten of the figures. Nice. <laughs> yeah, time to do the math. See what you can afford. Okay. Um, Noteworthy numbers. Said you again. Sorry, I made you collect a coin. That was silly. Let's make some noise. I'm guessing with the traps you need from the variants. Stay cool. Do you need all the villain variants or do you have some of them already? Light cool. I don't recall what you've purchased from me. Stay cool. Actually, let's get these out of the way too, so I don't knock them over. Get the glove back on. Oh, here's our flock stone smash. Been played with a little bit. Five hours left in the auction to a lot better than you thought. Yeah. They, I mean, I'm still hoping like the damage figures will sell. Like that that's probably my biggest hope every week is that I can find homes for those damage figures. Um But yeah, I mean there there's almost always some bidding done at the end, but I mean mobile hot streak going for much more than I anticipated. Um, um and, and what's the other oh the ornament way better than I anticipated here you go so metallic purple lightning round hasn't even been touched yet there's that level 5 2100 gold so I'm gonna leave it there here's green hot dog Burn. List is special, perfect. Level five, twenty one hundred gold. Perfect way to show you, like, it's not just one off figures that people have put at level five and twenty one hundred gold or something. This is how they come. Oh, he's collected fifteen coins. See, like, what do I do with this one? Do I reset this one? So like I said, it's not at 2100 anymore. And usually I would reset that, but it's, it's only 15 coins. He hasn't actually played because he hasn't gained any XP with it. Like, I'm I'm thinking, I, I'm tempted just to leave it. I don't know. Leave it or reset it. 
leave it or reset. Let me know. Brennan says, leave it. Jenny goes, says, nah, I'm guessing that's leave it. Leave it, leave it. Okay. Now here's Chris clear stealth out. It, it, I don't think we're going to see anything different yet. So series one, it looks like they've played with it because it has a hat on. Yeah, level six and everything. Like this one, we're, re we're resetting. Catch a glimpse. Silent but okay. deadly. Then these guys, I'm going to move safely out of the way. Um, yeah. That was another SSA chase variant. Like I said, they haven't hadn't instituted those. Oh, here, let's before I take the glove off. Red camo. <laughs> Thank you, Jinigo, for the reminder. Yeah. Yeah, so this is series one. Interesting. Okay, so This is something I was wondering since Red Camo and uh, Crystal Clear Whirlwind came out. They were not produced until the Swap Force era. It's interesting that they still didn't tag them as special, but they did put them at level 5, 2100. I'm wondering if Pirate Dad knows that. Because he, he was the one that told me that they, they weren't tagged as special. But it's interesting that they have level 5, 2100. Because like, like I said, by the time they started producing these, they they had started doing that. That's that's interesting. That's interesting. 350 HP. Do Chase Rains have more health? Um, I don't think they have more health. I, I don't have something to compare to at the moment. Um, here. Was that, was the 350 health for... Stealth health here? Silent but deadly. Do a quick check. No, she's at 270. But... If we compare that to a series one stealth elf. Silent but deadly. Which one did you see at 350? Catch a glimpse. Silent but deadly. Like sometimes the legendaries had um, more health or better stats. Yeah, series one stealth if it's at two seventy. Although that's a that's probably a bad comparison because, um, like I said, series one they hadn't start make, making changes yet. Um, hot dog. So you said hot dog was that? I I don't have a series two hot dog to test it against though. So. Shoot, I have a series one. Oh well, yeah, I, I I I can't check that right now. But I don't think they do. All right. Uh, like I said, let me move my chase variants quick. And then we will... All right, red camo, you go back on the shelf. And these other five, I need to move. All right, can be done with the glove then.
Oh yeah, dual hand. Good good point. They start at level five. That's that's why they have more health. There you go. How much do you think a robo missing a chip would cost? Um it, it honestly, Kirby, it depends if you find the right buyer. Like to me, that's worth next to nothing. I I don't want the figure if I can't play with it. But if someone else, I don't know, wants to do something to it, then they might be willing to pay for it. I mean, I'd pay like 10 bucks, five bucks. I don't know. Drop the hammer. Well, honestly, I think the chip, Robo's chip is probably worth more than the Robo figure itself. But that's just my opinion. Like I said, that, 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 I think that's going to vary greatly person to person. We got our little sidekicks here that are going to register as minis in this game, but they're the green base sidekicks. Sidekicks and minis are interchangeable between games. Even the green base sidekicks from SSA, you can actually play their playable characters. I mean, you can see me running around. You can see I just deleted a bunch of money and levels. What are all these characters that have one coin? Yeah, Kirby, I figured that's where you were going with that. Um, I mean, that's not something I would ever do personally. So I, I don't know. I, I think you'd still have a hard time finding a broken robo. Because honestly, most of the robos that exist should work. And so I... Like, of the few that are out there, I don't imagine many of them are broken. So. You'd be wary of buying an out-of-box robo from a random seller. Well, yeah, I'm not random. You know me. Yeah, I don't know. But, I mean, if you were, were just looking for a broken one, then it doesn't really matter. You just need the, the figure on top. But yeah, I, def I, I definitely wouldn't pay very much for it. So I, don't, I don't think it has a lot of value without the chip. Rock and roll. Fear I mean, yeah, if you're looking for one, I mean... I... Looking good. Looking. I, I wouldn't pay more than 10, 20 bucks if you're when they kind of cobble together your own, but it's part of the reason for doing that, right? To get it for cheaper. Do I reset the crystals? Yes, Kirby. I, I, I reset all the figures. I reset the creation crystals. The only thing I don't reset is traps. 
So, yes, any creation crystals you get from me will be clean. And uh, you'll be able to select your battle class. No chain, no gain! <laughs> No chain, no gain! <laughs> Shall we engrave No chain, no gain! <laughs> Got a bunch of sunburns today, so that was good. Roast in toast. As much of sunburn is usually a bad thing. Like, and I think they're all intact too. Getting strong. Broken sunburn. Roast as long as it works, it's a decent find. Not that sunburn's a huge money maker by any means, but oh, 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 no! Don't do this to me. No. As soon as I said that, my second sunburn doesn't want to work. Now, once again, I am using the Traptanium portal, and I don't always trust the Traptanium portal. So maybe I should switch it right now if I'm going to have problems. Just a moment. Come on, sunburn. Come on, sunburn. So we might have a broken sunburn. Like, legitimately broken, does not work, does not read. And someone was just asking me the other day, yeah, yesterday, actually, how often do you get figures that just don't work? Like, out of the thousands I've opened, I have six. Well, this might be number seven. That's unfortunate. Moving along. I guess we do have a sunburn that doesn't work. Broken, broken sunburn. Crunching numbers. Break and destroy. Slash and burn. No chinks in this armor. Slash and burn. For the mace. At least our series one wham shell works. My numbers are swelling. Wish I could have gotten a couple of duplicates of that though. That would have been nice. Brace I know there's multiple the people mace. out there still still looking for him. But we can make one person a little bit happier. So this is Blue Bash. Once again, to show you, it doesn't show anything special. Just a chase variant. SSA chase variant. Nothing fancy. Somebody really likes the same thing. Getting stronger. Oh, fired up. Oh, 
and lightning. My power will haunt. Bolt and lightning. For the win. Check it out. For the win. Questions later. <laughs> See? That first questions later. The beam is supreme. Looking strong. The beam is supreme. One strike and you're out. Those numbers are. Getting stronger. Oh, fired up. Twists of fury. Hmm. Impressive. Slice and dice. Does my power. Slice and dice. One strike and you're out. One strike and you're out. We may have another broken figure. Oh, fired up! It was a uh, series one Terrafin. Getting stronger. That's what happens when you buy too many figures. Oh, fired up! They just don't work. Can find the bad ones.
with the fish. Looking good. Fear the fish. Nice and still trail. Numbers are fun. Well, nice and still trail. Anybody checked on those auctions lately? Do a quick check. I'm guessing like it's it's middle of day. People came in early and placed some bids. Everybody also show up at night near the end of the auctions and place some bids. There's not a lot of action in the middle of the day. It looks like that seems to be pretty true. I think everything's exactly where it was the last time I checked. No change. It's okay. Like I said, auctions are still going better than I thought they would. Oh, fired up. Lightning. I did realize that this is going to be a really long stream. I'm going to have to get some food in here somewhere. My power will haunt you. Oh, man. Bolts and lightning. Like, personally, I would love to finish resetting all these figures before I leave. Fear the fish. But if that's another, you know two to three hours Looking good. before Look. that happens. That could be a long time. Fear Especially fish. when you're hungry. Time goes slower when you're hungry. Bring the boom! One, two... Bring the boom! Ah, we may have our third figure that doesn't work. Series one flame slinger. Man. I'm Rhino Shaw. The percentage is uh being destroyed today. Come rang or shine. Full screen ahead. Ready, my wing. Ahead. But then again, this is exactly why I need to test them. So I don't continue to send out bad figures to more people. Like if the figures don't work, we need to take them out of rotation. Sad. But true. Like, I'll probably offer up soon. Like, a lot of the figures that do not function in the game. And, like, I'll give you, I don't know, a week to either buy them or 
they're gonna have to go away. Because like I, me holding on to them doesn't make a lot of sense. If they don't work, I'm not. I can't sell them. And I'm not a customizer. I'm not gonna do it. Twists of fury. Doohan, yes. At least they're what I think are more common SSA figures. Exactly. That that's what I'm hoping for as well. We we've done pretty so far, pretty well so far. Like the dark spiros have worked. Um, well, we did have one sunburn that didn't work. The wham shell worked though. Like those are the expensive SSA Impressive. figures, right? The legendaries worked. Um, so far we've had the terrafin, flame slinger, and sunburn. Like, Sunburn's the only questionable one. The other two are super common. I'm not worried about as far as stock goes. Like, why do all these trigger happies work? If anything, I'd be okay, more okay with starter pack figures not working. Like, I have plenty of these. But that's not always the case. So that's never the case so far. It looks like we're almost halfway through the SSA figures. Slice and dice. Does my power bleed? Slice and dice. Getting stronger. Oh, fired up. Born to burn. Got a lot more magic Easy items than I realized. Started separating them in the box there and. That's nice. Uh, some of those items have been selling pretty well. Okay. Good to see them back in stock. Good to see you uh, holding up stock for some of them. Yeah, magic items are awesome. You don't have them each time. Whether they heal you or do extra attacks on your behalf or speed you up or slow you down. Well, they don't slow you down. Sometimes, like, the time twister slows everybody else down. Does my power you can go beat him up. Up, 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 up. Slice and dice. Oh, fired up. Getting stronger. Oh, fired up. Been wanting to play games again. Keep delaying until you get more figures from me. Every couple of days, more pops up that you want. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. First of all, thank you for your patronage. I, I do appreciate that. I, I greatly appreciate return customers. Folks, uh, not only stick around for these live streams that are just me, you know, testing and resetting figures but um, yeah i appreciate your business greatly so i'm glad i can help you complete your collection but please don't let me stop you from playing the games like i don't know if there'll ever be a time where i stop buying figures i mean i take breaks now and then like i i've gotten to the point now where 
I have to start setting a budget for how much I can spend on these. And like I, I just make need to make sure, like I said, that I don't run myself out of business by <laughs> spending more than I'm bringing in. I gotta start watching the numbers a little more closely, but um, no, you should, you should definitely, definitely play the games again. They're very much worth it. And if you get new Skylanders after, that means you have to play it again. Go for it. Top ten Skylanders that I mortgaged my house for. Alec, what are those? I'm curious. Kobe, welcome. Um, yes. There, there are definitely some good pulls. Um, so the top of the top, the cream of the crap. Um, first one, you probably can't see him on my shelf right now, but I got a red camo. So red camo is, well, he completes my camo collection. It's one I've been after for a long time, so I'm keeping that one. But that wasn't it. Uh, there are five other rare chase variants we got today. We got a flocked stump smash. Uh, we got a crystal clear stealth elf. We got um, metallic purple lightning rod. And then we also got purple flame hot dog the frito-lay ones and the green flame hot dog as well the power. so those five will be for sale <laughs> but i think i'm going to put them up as auction items one per week over the next five weeks um so if you're interested in any of those keep an eye out those will definitely be coming up Boom, shakalaka. so yeah th those are the big goals then i mean there were a number of other variants legendary figures dark figures uh jade flashwing granite crusher uh, we got like nightlight nightmare sunscraper spire got a crypt king in, in black again Red Drill Sergeant, Blue Bash. Um, red Camo works, yes. Red Camo does work. Armed and dangerous. I should say all of the ra rare chase variants worked. We, we, we tested them all right away. They, they all worked just fine, as expected. Armed and dangerous. Silent but deadly. We've actually had three figures that haven't worked so far, which is way above my normal average um, like up until this point with all of the figures i've opened combined i've only had like six figures that didn't work i've already had three today but they're just ssa figures a series one flame slinger series one terrafin and a sunburn um, all of which i had not only have duplicates of in the shop but i have duplicates of in this lot Not a huge yeah, loss on any of those. No no yeah, yeah, no no right, we also got like a flip wreck. I just saw him in the pile over there. Um, oh, oh, I should mention we got an echo, but it's damaged. Like, the tip of one of her fins is missing. Like, it's a small amount of damage. But it is damage. But it also is another Echo. So, um, 
that will either be private sale or auction if someone's interested like i said I'll, i'm probably going to be asking like 45 bucks for it um because it's i mean it's still echo and it's a minor amount minor amount of damage um so i'm selling for 60 normally on the site um because she's so rare like go like 75 percent of asking price so 45 uh, what's my opinion on hats on Skylanders? What's your plan for the Broken Skylanders that mix in? Oh, okay. Um, so my opinion with hats on Skylanders, I think they look dumb. I'm I'm gonna be blunt about it. Uh, I I honestly think that they look dumb. And if if they if there wasn't a increase your speed hat. I would never put hats on Skylanders because like some of them may be made to fit like one character pretty well, but the majority of them just, they don't fit the character's look that they don't fit the character's style. And for a lot of characters, like their head, if they even have a proper head, don't even really fit. Like it just kind of floats above them almost. Like it doesn't even make sense. No, seriously, if, if, if it wasn't for the fact that they they can increase your speed, I would never put a hat on a Skylander. Getting stronger. Um, plan for the broken Skylanders that I mixed in with the ones I wanted, or, or with Roast ones I've already gone through. Like, I'm, I'm honestly probably just going to have to go through that whole box and test them all at some point, whether I do that today or at a later point. I'll, I'll get it done. I'll definitely test them all. Um, just because that's what I do. But like I said, this is going to be a long stream already. So I don't know if I'll get that all done on stream today. I might have to cut it short just because I'm going to need food eventually. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, sky supercharged. Exactly. Hats don't really fit most of the time. Um, I'll, I've seen a lot of hats in this lot, so I'll, like I'll, I'll point them out sometimes. But like, even simple ones like the top hat or whatever, like it doesn't really fit the Skylanders' hat. Like they, their their technology wasn't good enough for that. But then again, it's a kids' game and it worked, right? Um, pumpkin eyebrow, no, no, no. Red camel is mine. I'm keeping red camel. Uh, the other five rare chase variants that I've got today, we will be selling those. I'll be selling those, but I, I will not be not be selling Red Camel. He completes my collection. Yeah. So once in a while, there's a hat that actually fits decently. But uh, which ones are they? So we we got um, getting stronger. Uh, flocked stump smash. So I already have mine, so we're selling the Flock Stump Smash. Uh, we got a Crystal Clear Stealth Elf from SSA. We got Metallic Purple Lightning Rod. And then we got Purple Flame Hot Dog as well as Green Flame Hot Dog. So some pretty good variants if you ask me. Pretty good variant. They've all been tested and checked, and I moved them to a safe location so I don't knock them over anymore. Um, but yeah, they, they're all good. They work. They go do it. Good day for variants. So are the chase figures going to be auction items? So I, I mean, potentially. So I, I, I will, I, I'm, I'm not going to list them in the shop. I'll put it that way. I'm not going to list them in the shop. If someone comes to me 
with a reasonable offer for them privately. They may be sold privately, uh, behind the scenes, off the books. Well, not off the books. It'll definitely be on the books. Um, but just, yeah, a private sale. Um, but if no one comes to me soon enough with an offer, a reasonable offer, um, then they will become auction items. So the plan is one per week until they're gone. So basically, like, we, we have Patina Eruptor up there this week. Here, here's a hat that doesn't work. Like, Drill Sergeant in general does not work for hats. Like, seriously, that, I mean, he doesn't have a proper head. This is, this is why I hate hats. This is why I hate hats here. Uh, anyway, um, but yeah, so you, you basically have a week until next Friday when I'm setting up the auctions. Um, next Friday, I will choose one of the remaining chase variants if I have any left, uh, if they haven't all sold privately to be in the auction that week. And then if I have any left after that, well, you'll have another week to make offers on them if you want. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep putting one a week into the auctions. Um, as long as I have, I have them because I think it'll, they, they make a nice kind of showcase item for the auctions to attract people. It's, it's a little bit of a business decision there. Um, a little bit of marketing to do it that way. But I, I think it also helps like if, if one person is interested in all of them, you know, spacing it out a little bit instead of saying hey i'm gonna dump them all in the auction next week uh be prepared to spend 500 dollars if you want to buy all five of them or, like i don't know if that's what they'll go for but um i'm just saying like it w wouldn't have to be one lump sum we can spread it out a little bit so um yeah i i, I do plan to uh Either, either private sale or auction items, ultimately. So if you're interested in any of those five and want to make me an offer, like I said, if it's a reasonable offer, you know how I generally price things. Go check what they're selling for on eBay. Um, and and I'm, I'm, us I, I'm usually willing to undercut eBay. Like that's like, I want to get to a reasonable price, but if you say I'll give you five bucks, I'm going to say no. So make me a reasonable offer and and you can probably get yourself some rare figures for a decent price. All right, so that was all the SSA figures. I still have the magic items and, and level pieces, which we'll get to later. Move those out of the way for now. <laughs> the underwear hat for swarm, the bone for hot dogs. Sure. Like I said, there's occasionally some that, that look good, look decent. They actually fit the character or either thematically or just like they fit their form properly. All right. There's a table here I can take care of. Actually, Trap Team, Superchargers, and Imaginators are all on the table right now. I've got the edge. I like this. Like, Crip King in a hat doesn't like. Break this. And they make like the, t his, the tail of his headpiece there go through the hat and I'm like what that that doesn't make it, it's not like 
that's his hair and he's wearing a baseball cap where he could stick his hair through it or something. It just doesn't make sense. I've got the edge. Getting ahead of the curve. Mind over matter. Bone for hot dog goes in his mouth. Perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Swarms and tennis go through the holes in the underwear. That makes sense. Yeah. Taking charge. Stronger than I imagined. Taking charge. Pirate Dad, welcome. A little bit late, but you made it. Sky Phoenix Jack. Sky Tuber, do you mind if I make a video about the work you do? Um, no, I do not. You go ahead and and make a way. Create those videos. Let me know if you need any help. Or resources, or I, I have no idea what you have in mind, but yeah, go right ahead. Bringing the heat. Ooh, someone like Wildfire. Let's face the truth. I'm awesome. I don't like wildfire. Bringing the heat. See the light. Very nice, Pirate Dad. I'm glad that worked out for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So... Um, a cut above all of what, Shoot, what was the question? Oh, oh, okay. So, uh, Pirate Ted, I think you kind you you may you may have known I was getting this slot. I don't remember if you were one of the people. But there are a few people who knew I was getting this slot. Uh, so we got six rare chase variants. Um, there, there's five of them that are going to be for sale. So I got another flock some smash. Um, a uh, crystal clear stealth elf, a metallic purple lightning rod, the purple flame hot dog, and the green flame hot dog. And those all registered as we expected, like the two SSA ones. Um, you know, they they, they just registered as normal. The, the hot dogs and the lightning rod, um, we're still at level five, 2100 gold, except one of the hot dogs was like at 2115. I think they collected a few pieces of gold, but you could tell. Anyway, um, I also, the big news is up here where you can't really see anymore. And it's a little confusing because I just got my custom red camo, but I also got my real red camo today. I got red camo um, in this lot. So red camo he like you've told me before he doesn't register as special which we knew like even though they were produced later but my red camo 
did start with start at level five with 2100 gold is that something you knew because like i know you have a red camo and i know you told me they don't register as special so i was expecting that but when i put him on the portal he was level five with 2100 gold so that was a surprise to me. I wasn't expecting that. And I, I don't remember if I just forgot that you told me that or if you didn't know or what. But yeah, that was a surprise. Making waves. So yeah, that was the question that I had. Looking ship shape. Making waves! Really? The SSA chase chases start at level 5 with 2100? Hmm. I guess most of mine have been played with. Because, yeah, I think that... I, I think... Um... Red Camo is the first one, first SSA that, that I've seen at level 52100. That's good to know, though, that the other ones could start there. And thank you. Yes, it, it, it's been a good day. I finished my camo collection. Fire it up. And it's bigger than I ever thought it would be because I have the custom. Yeah, so it's a pretty good lot overall. Um, I mean, there, there's hundreds of other figures to go along with it. it a lot of Giants era stuff. There was, I, I just finished the SSA stuff before. I do have a box of Swap Force, but it's Truly. not even a complete Swap Force. There's like, there's some dark stuff and some legendary stuff. And a few other variants here and there. Um, but the bulk of it's actually Giants. But most of the Giants variants, though. I'm the best. Kind of, pound for pound. Um, very little Superchargers, or I think the only Imaginators were Starter Packs. But then there was other stuff, too. Like, there were some, some guides and um, uh, a bunch of games. There's an Xbox One starter pack for superchargers still in the box. Damaged box, of course, but. Um, some other random stuff in there, too. But I th thank, thank you for saying that because I've been second guessing myself all week whether or not this was actually a good deal or not and whether or not I just kind of jumped the gun. Um, when I saw a red camo and a bunch of other chase variants, I'm like, it, like in my mind, it just went to, oh, this has got to be a good deal, right? And I didn't like do all the math. And then I kept like, I can't tell you how many times this week I went back and looked at the pictures. I'm like, oh man, is this worth, is it actually worth 950? Did, did I make a mistake? So I'm glad you think it, it was okay. <laughs> that, that helps calm my nerves a little bit. Um, Dark Wash Buckle. Yes, Kobe. Yes. Uh, I think we got all the dark Swap Force figures except for Stealth Elf, oddly enough. I don't know what happened to her. I do have her in stock already, though, if you need her. But I, we got Dark Blast Zone, Dark Wash Buckler, Dark Slobber Tooth. Um, what, what? Stealth Elf. And what's the other one? There's another one, right? I'm not crazy. Blanking on that one. Anyone? Uh, yeah, there's Washbuckler for sure. Average price for a supercharger. Um, without looking it up, I would say four bucks, maybe. If you're asking, like, what I sell them for. Uh, I, I'd say it's probably around four bucks. So I think the average average superchargers I sell are probably like three, four, or five bucks. 
I mean, the starter pack ones go cheaper. The only super expensive one really is like double dare trigger happy. As a box flock times flock springtime trigger happy for forty dollars. Yes, yes, it is. Flocked springtime trigger happy. There are only fifteen hundred of them worldwide. One thousand five hundred worldwide. Um, it's one of the few that we have a number for. And yeah, if you can still find one in box, like I got mine out of box. And I paid about, I mean, well, I, I got Flock Springtime Trigger Happy and um, White Flock Eruptor for a hundred bucks. So if you split it down the middle, I got my Flock Springtime Trigger Happy for $50 out of the box. So yeah, I would say $40 in box is great. All right, you just need a dark watch back. Look cool. Yeah, do a hand. I I think I got the slobber tooth. So I mean, blast zone, wash buckler, stealth elf, slobber tooth, and weren't there five? Weren't there five dark pieces in that set? The motion of the motion. Of the motion, Crook and roll. Oh, we did get some decent traps today, too. If anybody's looking for those, um, we only got the light owl, far as light and dark, though. But we did get like a undead captain's hat. And the magic rocket, and yeah, well, they're mid range ones. I think only one chance for a variant, though. Like, we have a chance for red hot tussle sprout. Oh, no, we do have a chance for riot shield shredder as well. And, like, given the fact that, um, this kid did have some rare chase variants, like. There's a possibility that there's a the riot shield shredder, but just how infrequently I've seen him, like I don't know. Starting to think he doesn't exist anymore. I also start to second guess if I have him in my collection. I'm not sure if I ever picked that one up. Oh, Dark Megaram Spyro, thank you. Yeah, I think we got him too. Probably did. How could I forget Spyro? Of course. Uh, yeah, so I'm assuming this is in reference to the Flock Springtime Trigger Happy. Look at my numbers, um, bro. Outer box for about 100 bucks. New in box, 125 to 175 So yeah, if you can get him for 40 bucks, hey, that's a steal. Found supercharges selling for seven dollars. Yeah, I mean, it, it's gonna vary regionally as well too. Like I know you're not in the U.S., so it, it can vary location, location. But if that's the best you can find and you really want them, well, then it's it, it's all about supply and demand, right? Do I like Pop Fizz? Uh, he's not at the top of my list. No, I know a lot of people do. He's he's not 
not my my favorite really pink barbell is only 150 there yeah you're looking like 300 in the u.s fusion man you are late to this one uh do a hand riot shield shredder was a trade show exclusive so it was handed out like at e3 and gamescom and stuff like that um yeah <laughs> it was handed out a few 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 months before the game and so like no one knew exactly what 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 to do with it even like well no i suppose they handed it out at e3 and they demoed it at e3 um so that that was a sad part again is like they wanted to demo the traps i think and so a, a lot of people once again took them out of the box and that's what happened you know with the the original e3 figures back in 2011 for ssa they took them all out of the box and the boxes were lost forever right. second favorite skylander um i i, I would say i i don't know exactly i think it's, it's got to be one of the undead guys because that that's my favorite element i love a lot of them like rattle shake shortcut um Uh, it's hard to go wrong with Undead Guys. That's my second favorite, Undead. I like Camo and then Undead Skylander. Unnamed. I mean, Chop, uh, Chop Chop's not bad. He's not my favorite just because of his fighting style, he's more of a melee character. And I'm not typically a melee fighter. I like more range. That's why I like Rattle Shake is my thing. Um Yeah, you could argue that like shortcut is more melee, but he also has minions that help distract. And I'm a big fan of minions. Got a bunch of minis here. I know a lot of people like Chop Chop, and that's what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with Chop Chop. It's just not one of my personal favorites. Just he's not my style. But I don't dislike him. Hex is another solid character, yeah. Like the thing is, like it, in the early games in SSA and Giants and such, like I had Camo to play with, so I, I played with him a lot more. And, and then even the undead guys there. Grim Creeper is is pretty good. Um, I've come to like him a little bit more after playing with him in my playthrough of Swap Force this time. But he, once again, is a melee character, and so it's not quite my style. I can make him work. Like, I, I don't mind using him, but he's not my go-to. Uh, Fire Dad, those were both mini Barclays. All of these, actually, right now are minis. Um... I don't. I don't think I got a sidekick Barkley. I I did get five sidekicks today, I believe. I got a sidekick Mini Genie, but she has been glued back together, so I put her in the damage pile. Um, and like it, it's an obvious glue job, so I, I put her in the damage pile. Um, and then I got the. I did get the original four SSA uh, sidekicks. So I got I got all four of them. Um, obviously they're out of box or out of bag. I think you're, are you still looking for Whisper Elf in the bag? 
I think that's the one you were looking for, right? Yeah, I... I got mostly minis today. Although, like I said, some sidekicks. And the, the SSA sidekicks, I don't think I've had in the shop before. So I'm going to have to make new listings and figure out pricing for that. Uh, Scorp, I think, is underrated a bit. Looking good. Looking good. Pretty solid. Fierce, fierce. Igniter is created in Chop Chop. <laughs> Potentially. Teach their own. You have all the sidekicks? Okay, I was wrong on that one. So wait, are you are, are you looking for a mini Barkley then? Or are you just curious as to which one? Crunching numbers. Yeah, okay. You... And destroy. Oh, maybe maybe that's what I was thinking of. The Whisper Elf Mini new inbox. Yeah, I did see you. Oh, you're asking for the magic moment log. Got it. That makes sense. Totally forgot you were <laughs> watching my streams for that. But yeah. Yeah, th th those are all minis there. That, this is the last mini I have. So that entire last batch was all minis. All fired up. Look at my numbers grow. He shoots, he spores. Growth and roll. Looking solid as a I lied before when he said the only Imaginators we got were a starter pack. We also got an Aurora with the straightest swords I have ever seen. I can't reach her right now. She's on the other side of the table, but I can see her there. And the straightest swords I've ever seen on an Aurora figure. Awesome. Robo came today. Awesome, awesome. Have you played with it yet? Down for the count. Built a last and then down for the count. Glory. Uh, Tree Sun? No, I haven't. So, what what happened with the damage figures is that I I accidentally threw them in a box with damage figures from yesterday, and so now they're all mixed together. So I'm gonna have to go through and and test them all again, even the ones I tested yesterday. Um, so I'm probably going to do that at a later time, but because I know you're interested Not in the, uh, Astro Blast, I can, I'm, I can probably find that one. Out of sight. Hey, look, he's right here. Red, set, glow. There you go. He works. Unused, even. Mm. 
Makes you wonder how he got damaged if he's never been used. Back to the max. Showing signs of growth. Back to the max. All right. Two food fights and then we're done with the trap team. Then I'll grab the uh, superchargers and imaginators. Since there's not a lot of them. Get those out of the way and then we'll just have giants and swap force left to do. So I separated everything ahead of time. Stay. Not ahead of time, like as we were unboxing. It'll save me a lot of time later. I'm trying to get everything up on the site. Alright. So that's the end of Trap Team. Like I said, let's check let's check on those auctions again. Four o'clock. We got four hours left in these auctions. Is anyone oh got logged out of the site. Eh. Uh, has anyone been bidding on these auctions? Anybody else? Anybody here actually watching the auctions or bidding on the auctions right now? Um, come on, log in. Let's go check these out. Auction says. Filter these to just the current auctions. Thanks. All right. So the Disney Infinity bundle still don't have any bids. I mean, it's a really good deal if anybody wants to get into Disney Infinity. Five bucks, man. Five bucks, you can get started. It's more than your standard starter pack, even. Uh, the lot of damage Skylanders. Thirty Skylanders for ten bucks. That's all I'm asking. Could be yours. But the mobile hot streak, six oh one. It's currently sitting at fifteen fifty. A lot of bidders on that one. The two books, the Mask of Power Gil Grunt and the Mask of Power Spyro, both sitting at five fifty a piece. Uh, Darth Vader's got a bid for a dollar. Trap Shadow has bid for a dollar. Cobra Cadaver, the painted one, is, has bid for a dollar. Hot Dog, no bids. Flipwreck. Ooh, Flipwreck has a few more bids now, up to three fifty. The Hot Dog Christmas ornament still blows my mind. So many people want this thing. It is up to 1050. 1050 for the Christmas ornament. Um Chaos Trap is only at two dollars. Patina Eruptor at 2850. Nitro Crypt King does not have a bid yet. He's also been painted, unfortunately. Um and then the other one, so S1 Prism Break, the damage one has a bid for a dollar. S3 Cinder, Fire Kraken, Bushwhack do not have bids. Uh, Light Core Star Strike does not have bid. S2 Gilgrunt does not. And the Black Widow Disney Infinity figure does not have a bid. So those are still the same. Any of those you can get for just a dollar. Just a dollar. Still there. Waiting for you. Waiting for bids. Yeah, Doofy, I can't pick a least favorite Skylander. Um, there's too many. But the one I the one I say whenever whenever anybody asks me this, because it's the one I pick on the most, Fire Kraken. I I can't stand Fire Kraken. There's there's just nothing good about Fire Kraken to me. I know there's people out there who like him, but not for me. Not for me. Doolahan's still thinking about it. Okay. Okay, obsession, watching, but no longer bidding. I know you, 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 I saw you bid early on. That was great. You got things rolling again. Silent, but deadly. Glimpse. 
silent but deadly. Silent but deadly. Catch a glimpse. Silent but deadly. <laughs> Especially a damage fire guy. Uh, yeah, no, Doofy, I I do not care for Fire Kraken in the least. Like he's he's a melee character. I don't care for that. I can't stand how he runs, he, like skips everywhere and just like feels like he's not making any pro. I can't I can't stand that. It's just I I don't really care for his design that much. I I don't know. There's nothing I like about Fire Kraken. Like I said, I found people who do like it. And that just proves the my point. That every character is going to be somebody's favorite. Or at least we can have different opinions about them. You might like someone. I might not like them. I might not. And someone I don't like, you might like. So it happens. That's why they create a variety of characters. There's someone for everybody. The motion of the potion! However, they didn't seem to play superchargers. They just have superchargers figures. Now it makes more sense that that legendary Astro Blast didn't have, wasn't played with either. Like, none of these supercharges you can play with. Fear the fish! Oh, there we go. Gilgrunt. Looking good. Fear the fish. He's currently your favorite swapper. There you go. Whereas my favorite swapper is uh, Rattle Shake, and I found people that don't like Rattle Shake. So, off the charts. It's gonna happen. And a gold fire crock and sort of local for a hundred bucks. Ooh, Look out not bad. Because the gold fire kraken was a uh, employee variant, so I was never in retail. So those are always going to be hard to come by. Oh, the sky's the limit. Kobe, thanks for hanging out. Oh, Have a good day. play with spy rise and trap shadow spy rise is a lot of fun i feel he, he has some very unique moves um his ability to like jump off the screen is awesome uh 
Trap Shadow. Trap Shadow was a little more popular, I think, just because he was one of the later figures. I didn't really like his fighting style that much. But once again, it's more melee based, which is not my thing really. Um, but he's better than some melee characters that I've met. So I don't know. It's not my go-to. He's really short. It's weird. It looks weird. Do you think all the swappers are supposed to be, you know, essentially the giants of that game, the big guys? And then you put Trap Shadow in there, and it's like so tiny. Everything checks out. Red, set, glow. Master Eon has trained me. The speed of okay, life. First, anybody who didn't see before, I want to show this off now. Like, are these not the straightest Aurora swords you've ever seen? Like, there is a little bit of a curve right at the end here. But, and, and a little bit in the middle here, it kind of goes up a little bit. But, like... Are these not the straightest swords you've seen on an Aurora figure? Like, usually they're, like, I've seen them as, as bad as, like, drooping all the way down to here or down to here. Like, it, it's a nice Aurora figure. It really is. Like, I, I kind of want to go back and check my figure and see how bad the droop is on her swords. And, like, I'm, I'm tempted to, like, switch them out if this one's better. But no, no, I won't do that. Th this will be in the shop. If anybody want if anybody needs Aurora and is worried about the swords, like this is the figure for you. All right, did they use their fire creation crystal? They did not. Welcome to the creation it makes crystal. Makes my job even easier. Master. I don't have to reset it. Cool. Stay frosty. Yeah, it's a great looking Aurora figure. Yeah, so they obviously played Imaginators. That that's the number, right? That right, that's the max number, sixty-five, five thirty-five. I'm not crazy about that, right? Like, it, it, I I always remember it's some weird number, sixty-five, five thirty-five. Well, here, uh, try to collect a coin. Yep, you can't collect any more coins. That's the max, sixty-five, five thirty-five. A chain is only as strong as its weakest step. But we're going to delete it all. They did play Imaginators, apparently. They only had Golden Stay Queen, Queen Pen, and Aurora. So they're all leveled up. Yeah, someone was asking me the other day what the max was. If it, well, they were asking if it was 9,999. 9, I'm like, nope. Oddly enough, it's not. Numbers you can truly bank. I reign supreme. Doofy, the same. Same with me. The only broken Skylander in my collection is my Gusto. And, and that's... Um, that is only because m years ago now, my two year old nephew came to visit and I let him play, play with my figures and his version of playing was just throwing them in the air. And so most of them survived, but after like the fourth throw, Gusto's boomerang came off. So that's unfortunate. All right, um, so that's all those giants and swap force, and then the damage guys get to him. So I forget who was asking the other day, but like, what happens when you put uh, a bottom half with the top half? So this is a like legendary free ranger on the bottom, a washbuckler, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure the legendary title goes with the top half. 
So yes, this is Wash Ranger. It it did pop up as special though. So that was something. I guess the special tag goes with the bottom half. Um, Making my mark. Good to see those work. That's the other half that I have. So this, if my theory holds, should be Nitro Magna Ranger. Yeah. And like I said, the special goes with the bottom half anyway. Okay. Add that to your spreadsheet. I am superior in all areas. Swapper halves. Attract to attack. All right. Um, I think let's go for swap force next. Alternately, didn't get that many swap force. Got a lot of duplicates. We got like five washbucklers and five uh, blast zones and five rattle shakes. I don't know why they had so many rattle shakes. Said I'm not complaining about that. Like wash washbuckler and blast zone, I have a really hard time selling. But rattle shake sells. <laughs> Yeah, Pirate Dad, I don't you don't have to add all the combinations, but um I think it would be worth it just to make a note on there somewhere that any uh in-game variant tag goes with the top half. So like the nitro always sticks with the top half. But as you saw there, like the the wash ranger popped up as special yet so i think that tells us that the special tag rides with the bottom half so i think it'd be good to have those notes in there like and and we can extrapolate from there growing stronger yeah I, I i don't need another 870 rows in that table Here's heavy metal sprocket. Sprocket special. Nice specs. Fix is in. Yeah, there's the dark spiral we're talking about. Oh, fired up. Getting stronger. Oh, fired up. Shoot for the stars. the stars whip up a storm both legendary free buckler and wash legendary ranger will show up as special okay so the special tag goes with top and bottom. I guess that would make sense. Good to know. But like I said, I I, I would I, I would make that as a separate like note somewhere. Like for the overall rules of naming. Whip up a storm. <laughs>
Supreme is Supreme. Looking strong. Welcome back, Wolf Shadow. The beam is supreme. Roll with the punch. You might get almost every SSA character. Go for it. Got to complete that collection, right? Classified. You know, this is <laughs> obsession. Wow. Uh, I, I I'm glad you enjoyed the conversation. Yeah, that that's what it's here for. That's why I keep streaming this stuff. I'm just here to talk Skylanders. But um, you'd think with a name like Obsession, you 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 might know a little bit more, right? Or is this not the Obsession you're referring to? Born to burn. Um, but yeah, no, I I mean. Like we we've each had our own reasons for diving deeper into it. Like you weren't running a website with people emailing and messaging you these questions on a regular basis. Like in the heyday of Skylanders, like I got a dozen messages a day between email and Facebook and Twitter asking me questions about the game or about the figures and about this stuff. And it's like, well, Either I just keep selling, either I don't reply, either I tell them I, I do reply and I tell them I don't know, or I figure it out and, and learn the answers so I can give accurate replies. And of course, you know, that's, that's the route I wanted to go. I mean, the intent behind the site was to become a good resource for people, so... Um, yeah, I, I wanted to gain the knowledge. Fire Dad, on the other hand, he's an obsessive collector. <laughs> Hardcore collector that wants to, uh, know as much as he can. So, wait, does he always keep that hat? Like, that's the hat he comes with, but you can't get rid of it. For some reason, that just... I, I, I don't remember that. Like, I'm always wearing that hat. No, that, there's no hats in Imaginators. Never mind. Huh. Anyway. Roll with the punch. There's another thing if you didn't know. Uh, springtime trigger happy, jolly bumble blast, and kickoff countdown all unlock hats in Swap Force. That you can't get anywhere else except for putting those figures on the portal. Roll with the punch. Only two SSA characters you don't like, so I wouldn't say it's worth getting all the SSA characters. <laughs> So, oh, so you would say it's worth... Okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Blue fan always learning something new. Awesome. You know a little bit, not as much as all of you used to follow you back in the day. Thank you for that. A lot of knowledge comes from the experience. Been following Skylanders for almost nine years. Exactly. You just learn over time. And if it's a persistent hobby, it makes sense. I had the same name take back then. Fair enough. Yeah, constantly doing research. 
that's why you constantly find new figures and new packs to collect and make it harder for all of us just kidding i like i love your work i, really do. I appreciate you putting the time and effort into it and uh sharing it with all of us see here's someone who really liked fire cracking level 20 I don't know why, but there are people out there who like him. Spend a lot of time playing. Let's ruffle some feathers. I'm spreading my wings. Let's ruffle some feathers. Keeping it cool. <laughs> Blue fan, nice. Yeah, the older videos, the bonus rat areas in Imaginators. I, I'm telling you, Imaginators was actually a pretty cool game. Like, they they hid some weird things in there. They did some different things. Like, one of my favorites was the well in the middle of the map and having to figure out how to open that. Like, I made a video about that, too. And I know a lot of people, that, that video has helped a lot of people. Um, And like I think if they kept going, there's just more and more they could do. Like they were learning, you could tell over the past like three games, um, that there was a lot they could do in the overworld. That they could make it like another level. So, I feel like a lot of the swappers are underwhelming. Um, maybe I could see that. I, I, I think it falls into the space of like it was Vicarious Visions, their first game. They were trying to do something different. And I think it's what I always said. Like, it doesn't feel like it has the charm that the first two games did. And when I say that, I'm not just talking about the game itself, but the characters as well. I, it, it just, they don't have the same charm that the other games did. The other figures did. Um, I am superior in all areas. So, I mean, th there were some swappers I really liked. Like I said, Rattleshake, probably in my top five or something like that. Like, I, I love Rattleshake. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of swappers that I eh, don't necessarily care for. Um, but they, they, they did what they could. They tried. Yeah, Pirate Dad, exactly. Undocumented stuff. Uh, Courtney, welcome back. Um, yes, yes, we finished up. We got all the stuff for the shelf. Uh, you can see him up there. Red camo's up there. You, you, you knew I was getting that. Um, but yeah, we, we, we got all the rare chase variants as expected. Um, so we got our crystal clear stealth elf and the green flame hot dog and the purple flame hot dog and uh, metallic purple lightning rod and the flock stump smash. They were all there. They are all there. But we completed the camo collection. That's the most important. Yeah, 
yeah, the only one I'm keeping is Red Camo. The others will all be for sale one way or another. Like I said, they're they're open for private sale right now. If anybody's interested, make me a reasonable offer and we can make a deal. Otherwise, the uh, other five chase variants will be going up for auction, one per week until they're gone. Strap to the guild. Uh, Doofy, no, you do not need any trophies to platinum superchargers. So, um, PlayStation and Xbox have have rules about the trophies and the achievements. And one of the rules is that you need to be able to get the platinum trophy without buying anything but the base game. So, with Skylanders, that means you can get the platinum trophy with just the contents of the starter pack. So, th so that that's all you need, just the contents of the starter pack. Um. Yeah, so you don't need any trophies for that. Courtney, yes, I have au auctions every Saturday. I've had auctions every Saturday since I've started. Um, I mean, I, I understand this only like week four, but um, yeah. Auctions are up. My day. We got Patina Lava Lance Eruptor. Which I know you already have. We have uh, we have a six hundred one up there, which I think you said you already got to. So may you might not need anything from this week's auction, but uh, yeah, auctions every Saturday. Saturday is auction day. Blast and furious. I am on a hot streak. Blast and furious. Ooh, name dropping already. That's what half of Collector's Guild is going to be. It'll serve as a hub for Portal Masters and a way for me to make all the info about Skylanders having my head available for everyone to access. Yes, please. Collector's Guild, look for it, folks. Check it out. Coming soon to a website near you. For the win. <laughs> yeah, Doofy, I remember the blurry pictures of High Bolt. King of the Sting. We had a lot of blurry, blurry pictures, blurry poster images back in the day. King of the Sting. Silent but deadly. Shoot for the stars. Light core. Shoot for the stars. Your time is up. The 
perfect swarm! Take my day. I always look good. So many purple Go ahead. battle shakes. Take my day. Ugh. I mean, it's nice to see that people are using rattle shakes. Stay cool. But that purple man. Looking good. Stay cool. Race for the mace. Light core. For the mace, I'm the bomb. Ooh, I must. Getting stronger. Oh, fired up. Silent but deadly. So it didn't go. I was just thinking about this actually. Um, if I keep the stream running like all the way through the auction stuff, um, I I think what what I'm gonna try to do, I can make it my 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 stomach starting to growl a bit, um, is make it through uh, the swap force here, and then if I can still make it through with the giants figures. And then take a break. I like. I'm hoping it's not too late by that point. Um, but take a short break. Go grab some food, and then come back. And I can set up to do like test vehicles and traps and stuff while we're waiting for the oxen to end. And so that that'll just kind of give me something to do. Or maybe I can test damage figures during that time or something like that. But. Um, but yeah, that'll like I'll that'll give me time to take a break and then I can um, finish up later and still 
you can see everything else still works if you if that's something you're waiting for i don't know i, I like i honestly don't know how much people rely on these streams to see oh yeah these figures work okay or if they just trust me by now but regardless like we're, we're getting new customers every week too so i think it probably helps to continue showcasing this stuff um but then again if they're just new customers i don't know you know that they even know that i have a stream and i unbox everything live i don't know how many of the customers come from the stream necessarily or what but or if people are just finding me on google and say hey oh we'll buy from this guy he has good prices I always look good. That'd be interesting to know sometimes. Go ahead. Stick my day. Not the easiest information to come by, though. Bombs away. So yeah, my, my current plan is to split things up, but we'll see how that goes. I just realized I should probably reset these anyway, just in case the bottom has, well, if I didn't match them up properly, they might not line up nicely. The bottom half still might need to be reset, even if the top half doesn't have any weight. For upgrade pads. Got all cylinders. Bombs away. Blast and furious. I am on a hot streak. Blast and furious! Born to burn! The flames are growing! Born to burn! Doofy, which ones are they? Yeah, I mean it's hard it's hard to declare favorites until you've played them all. I should think of some favorites if you just haven't given them a chance. Yeah, Pirate Dad, um, yeah, you missed that here. When we started getting into the swap force stuff, like I said, that we got like five wash bucklers, five blast zones, five rattle shakes, at least. Um, maybe more than that. But yeah, th th there were quite a few duplicates. I, as I got further and further into this lot, like I thought this kid was maybe just a, a, a big collector and that's why he had all the rare stuff. But ultimately, I think he ends up buying a lot of large lots like I did. Like I have been, and and end up with a bunch of duplicate stuff too. A drill I think down. he bought some other people's collections along the way. If there's a drill, that's why I have yeah, all this duplicate stuff. Because I, like, I remember in the listing, he said like he he showed his his like main collection put out on shelves, and then he says, and then there's also this other box that has all my duplicates. And I'm like, okay, sure, I'll, well, I don't mind some duplicates. That's fine, but. <laughs> Let's Didn't realize it was like five times duplicates. Like the average collector might have, you know, two or three of a figure if they bought like multiple I'm starter packs or whatever. But yeah, Let's there's quite a few duplicates. And spiders. unfortunately, it's like Wash Buckler and Blast Zone. Like I can't sell them. I mean, I try, but people don't buy them. <laughs> I think I've maybe sold one of each ever individually. 
You probably saw I stuck some in the mystery box. Well, can't sell them else elsewhere. So I gotta get rid of them somehow. Straight to the point. Yeah, you have a lot of chaos trophies. Yep. Chaos trophies are pretty common now, and and sea and sky trophies too. Even probably have just as many as I do chaos trophies. Point. I mean, the Chaos Trophy had such limited functionality. That's why I wish they wouldn't have released it separately. Just kept it as a uh, Dark Starter item. That that would have been more useful. Not for, not even only from a resale standpoint, but from you know just a supply and demand. Like, Doofy's five favorites are Sunburn, Camo, Ghost Roaster, Voodoo, and Prison Break. Yeah, the yeah, those are some nice ones. Sun Sunburn, I I don't care for really. Um, once again, just not my play style. I I, I know plenty of other people who who do love Sunburn. Um, like I like his his design, but I don't care for his play style. Um, yeah, the rest of those are pretty good. Obviously, Camel I love. Ghost Rose is great. Prison Break great. Who dude, I don't have as much. Experience. Uh, Pirate Dad, I think you're right that there are more Chaos Trophies because they, they sold them separately. All the other ones just came in the, the action packs, and so they were a little bit more limited. It was a bigger pack, a more expensive pack. They didn't produce as many. But then they, they came out with, hey, we're just, everybody wants Chaos, so we're going to produce just the Chaos Trap and sell it individually. Send you entire cases of just chaos traps. Or trophies. Not traps. I mean, they did traps too, obviously. But... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got another one doesn't work? Well, hold on. I gotta test them now. Was it top half, bottom half, or both? Looks like it's bottom half. Uh, yeah, bottom half that works. Blast yeah, bottom half. yeah, bottom half of blast zone doesn't work. I am on a hot streak. Blast Trouble, troubleshooting swappers is a pain. Well, that one. Do I do I have a spare zone? I do. Blast and furious. I can kind of take one off the, <laughs> the halves shelf. I mean, it's just a starter pack, but take one half off. Let's ruffle some feathers. I'm spreading my wings. Let's ruffle some feathers. Recommend the Ent Elementalist Path for Voodoo. Okay. Oh, Chain Lightning Area Damage. Yeah. That sounds good. Stuff like that that'll help me like any way I always look good. Go ahead. Sink my day. Whip of the storm. Uh, 
Looks like chicken scratch. Whip up a storm. <laughs> If there's a drill, there's a way! A drill with skill! If there's a drill, there's a way! Shell and Bloomer Camel will be your favorite. Fair enough. That's interesting that Boomer's up there. A lot of people didn't care for Boomer. That's why he sat on shelves for so long. Uh oh, do we have another one that doesn't work? Troubleshooting. Top half, bottom half. Ooh, this may be the top oh, half. Of top half of Free Ranger. Okay. They both work with other halves. Not Looks helping. Like yeah, it's not me. helping. You have to put you back together and try again. Whip up a storm. <laughs> Really? There you go. Almost had you. Come on. It's just very temperamental. You can do it. You can do it. No, you want to. Yes, recover. Come on, recover. You can do it. Man. But, like, if, seriously, if I just put you with any other half, are you going to work? Okay, so the bottom half is on the fritz. Very temperamental. Oh, we have to work once. Up track, to attack. We'll recover here. Up track, to attack. Never had this much trouble. No. Okay. You're you're going in the does not work pile. I'm I'm not gonna deal with you. More than furious. Large amount of dupes and make a giant pack full of just the one. Wouldn't want a pack of twenty five tree rexes. I I mean, are you interested in that? I, I like I don't I, I'm pretty sure you're being sarcastic with that, but um like if I if I thought anybody would want, you know, twenty five tree rex or twenty five walk buckler or something, like I would gladly sell it to him at a heavily discounted price. Like 
pay me shipping and I will ship you these figures. When I say shipping, I mean the actual shipping cost, not just the five ninety five, but yeah. So no, it's it's only one broken free ranger. Um, I was just troubleshooting it to try to get the halves to work. I think the top half is actually okay. Um, actually, yeah, I should do that. I can put that. Actually, wait, I have a, a spare bottom half. Might be able to clear another one off the shelf here. Let's try this. Yeah, there we go. And that is why I save the halves on the halves shelf. I can get them to work here. There. Feel better about that one now. Um, dual hand. Um, yeah, what, what, what I'm planning to do, the, the, the order of events right now, as it stands right now. Um, so I just finished up the swap force figures. I still have to go through the Giants figures and then technically the damage figures, but the damage don't matter as much because they don't go in the shop. Um, like, I, I will still test them, though. But for tonight, I ideally, what I want to do, if the time works, I think it should. Um, I'm going to go through the Giants figures right now. Then I'm going to end this stream, take a little break, get some food, um, and then I will come back on... I don't know, it might be 6.30, 7 o'clock, so a little bit later than usual, but in time for the end of the auctions. Um, and during that time, I will continue to to test figures. Um, if I haven't made it through all the Giants ones, I'll do those. Um, I could do damage figures, or I could work on, if I, if I want to test some of the, the vehicles or traps or something like that, I could do that during that time, just something short and quick. Um, cause yeah, I don't have a lot of time there for the end of the auctions. Um, then after the auctions end, I'll, I'll stop the stream again and then I'll update the shop as much as I can tonight. Um, so I, I, I do plan on adding it to the shop. It, it should all be up there tonight yet. It'll probably be a little bit late, but that that's my current plan right now and, and that's part of the reason i might avoid doing the damage figures right now because there's a lot of them and i have to go through a lot um but just get the other stuff tested first and get that up in the shop and then come back and do the damage stuff later but yeah i think that's that's the plan with the community tab you should see which branch people like more for each skylanders Ooh. So rather not fully upgrade just to find out what I like better. That's interesting to go. I never thought about like keeping a, an ongoing um, kind of tally of what people are interested in, like which paths they like. That, that could be interesting. Um, Yeah, Jindigo, I'll, I'll get the items as well. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to think about that. That might be something I can do or implement at some point. Doofy, thanks for hanging out. It's been a blast. Have a good night. All right. I need to rearrange a few things quick, and then uh, we'll get into the giant stuff. Full stream ahead. My wing. Full screen ahead. Alright. All our giants variants are on top of the motion of the motion. 
glowing the dark sonic doom punch pop too. Now that's strong. Get a polar whirlwind. The motion of the motion. Twists of fury. The sky's the limit. Hawk and all. <laughs> Do <a> hand. <laughs> oh man. I mean, yes, you should probably protect your money, but I'm glad to know people are interested. Drink and destroy. Sorry if I cause any uh, disputes. Crunching and destroy. Speaking of auctions, though, been another hour. Wishes. Have there been any developments in auction land? Let's find out. Like same, 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 same. Oh, flip wreck is up to seven dollars. There you go. That's a few more bids. Uh, same, same, same. Everything else looks the same. Flip wreck got some more bids, which is good. Glad to see that because I was sad to see that who was damaged. So, yeah, I'm I'll be okay with that. No big changes over there. Impressive power. For now. We still have three hours to go. Three hours left in the auction, folks. Skylandercharacterlist.com slash auctions. Go check them out. I know most of you here have been here all day and know very well about the auctions. I'm kind of preaching to the choir, but... Got to keep reminding people. In case they come in late. Newcomers. Any newcomers out there? Skylander dude is back. Have you checked out the auctions this week? Any interest? I don't know. Have you seen any part of the stream? Did you miss anything? We're, we all, we already passed over the, the big big news of the day. So I got myself a red camo to complete my collection. But we also got uh, Crystal Clear Stealth Elf, Block Stump Smash, Metallic Purple... Lightning Rod, Purple Flame Hot Dog, and a Green Flame Hot Dog. Looking good. A lot Looking of good stuff good. today. A lot of good stuff. In addition to you know, hundreds of other figures. But, yes. Glad you're back. It's been a good day. Okay, you missed four hours of the stream. Yeah. And yes, all of those were today. All, all, all from this one monster lot. Big expensive purchase, but um, we're hoping it'll be worth it. If nothing else, like I said, it, it completed my camo collection, which, I mean, I, I wasn't sure I'd ever see a red camo. So, when this was pointed out to me, I, I kind of had to jump on it. Quentin got Thrillipede, Bushwhack, Hatterash, Crypt King, and Bushwhack for a dollar fifty pop, or whatever your currency is. That's fantastic. 
especially if it's standard thrill be wow, those are big numbers. like that's impossible to find here yes, crush hour uh skylander dude uh the, the the only one i'm keeping is red camo the other five are going to be for sale um As I've been saying, uh, the other five are up for private sale or auction. So I, I, the plan is to put one of them up for auction each week until they're gone. But if I'm approached privately before then for, with reasonable offers for any of them, I will happily sell privately. Um, so basically you have seven days, um, until I list the next auctions on Friday. You have until that time to uh, make me offers on these things. And if I don't get any offers or if I do, well, some will be gone. But whatever I have left, one of them will go up on the auction block next week. But yeah, those five will be up for sale. I'm keeping count. and lightning. Jojo, so yeah, that that is not number of figures. I I thought I, I wondered if that might be confusing, and I originally thought of using that as like the number of figures, but most of the time I don't have a figure count for the lot. Um so that is actually which number unboxing this is. So uh, I've done, I've unboxed 32 lots is, is what I'm going after. Um, and so if you ever want to like watch them sequentially or want to reference a certain stream, a certain episode, you can say, hey, back in unboxing number 32, that's, you know, where you got six chase variants. That's what I intend for that to be used for at least. Um, Cause yeah, like I, most times people don't give me a figure count in the listing and they, like I, they just send me a picture. And so like, I don't count them individually one by one. Like I just get a general idea of how many there are and see what rare figures are there. Like, that's what I care about more than the actual number of figures. Um, so I I wouldn't know number of figures until I unbox it. And then it's kind of late for the thumbnail. So, yeah, that, that that's what that is. <laughs> Skylander, you keep them all. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of people are in inbox guys. And, and honestly, I would prefer if my chase variants were inbox. But... I'm fine. I, I, I'm honestly surprised how many people have them out of box. Because I thought everybody kept Chase variants in box. I thought that was more of a common practice. Apparently, I was wrong. Spotlight as well, Clinton. That's a fantastic call. Well done. Shop locally, man. Shop locally. Hey, hey, I'm on fire. It's rush hour. Wow, those are big numbers. Yes, rush hour. Do you 
deal with the wheel. Whoa! Check out. Deal with the wheel. Rush hour. Wow, those are big numbers. Yes, rush hour. Check out my stats. Deal with the wheel. Uh, yeah, Martin, I'll try to get to you tonight. Um, might might have to wait till tomorrow. Tonight's gonna be kind of busy. Yeah, I forgot. I, I, I neglected to, to get back to you last night. Sorry about that. Catch a glimpse. Silent but deadly. It's beaten time. I've got my eye on you. Mm, got an eye. I've got my eye on you. Perfect, man. That that'll work out well. Yeah, today with the the giant. 54 pound unboxing here that I'm working with and the auctions going on and it's a lot. Um, my parents are coming to visit tomorrow. So, and then I think I have another unboxing on Monday actually, maybe if it arrives on time. Yeah. Guylander dude, finding local offers. 55 bucks for a land racing pack, dark Bowser and Clown Cruiser. Fantastic. Like 55 bucks nowadays for Dark Bowser isn't bad. So to get the land racing pack on top of it. Oof. That's what I call a deal. 
the motion of the motion. Like that's a deal I would probably make for the shop, right? I know you can you, you make your money back with the Dark Clown Cruiser and Bowser and then the uh racing pack is profit. The motion of the motion. That's a great deal. Yeah. What, was that like a Facebook Marketplace thing, or uh, how did you hear about that one? Blink and destroy. Light core. He shoots. He spores. Light. He shoots, he spores! Silent but deadly. Catch a glimpse. Silent but deadly. Oh, as an offer up deal. Nice. Yeah, I haven't had a lot of luck with offer up. Uh, the people on there are so flaky. Like they, they list things and then just never reply to their listings and then they leave things listed for three years and then by that time they probably deleted the app or whatever and they, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird system. Pirate Dad, thanks for hanging out. Hope you got some good uh, info for your documentation. Uh, but yeah, we will enjoy. Rush hour. Folks, here's another example of a hat that just does not work. Giant head. Tiny little hat. Yes, rush hour. and destroy light core crunching numbers blink and destroy twists of fury Dude, uh, did you see every? I didn't. Didn't we? I, I think I told you last time you showed up about the the hot dogs, right? Nice I think you saw the hot dogs. And did you stay for the next twenty minutes? Like that was the end of the stream. So did you see? Anyway, we'll recap for anybody else that might have showed up late. Yes, there was there was other things. Um Skadoosh, there was So you saw the green flame hot dog, purple flame hot dog. There is also a metallic purple oh Ninjini, that doesn't work. Metallic purple ninjini would have been cool. Um but no, uh, there was metallic purple lightning rod. There was a flocked stump smash. And there was a crystal clear stealth elf. Um, in addition to 
a red camo, but the red camo is staying with me. Um, so what's the starting bids on those? I don't know offhand. I don't know. What, what I have said... Oh, we're going to leave you, Shroom Boom. Metallic Green, Shroom Boom. Um, <laughs> Crystal Stealth, how, how much? Yes. So what, I, what I've said, exactly. Um, I'm accepting private offers on all five of those. Um, if the offer is reasonable, I'll accept it. If... I don't sell them by next Friday. I will start listing them one at a time, one per week until they're all gone. Um, so if no one makes a reasonable offer privately, we'll have one of those in each of the next five auctions. Um, and I'll, I'll have to research at that point where I want to start them at. Um, it'll probably be something on the lower side like today i mean well today's was a little bit different because he's a little bit in worse shape than these are but i would imagine they'd probably start somewhere between i don't know 50 75 somewhere in there maybe 100 uh, eh, no probably not 100 maybe 50 bucks to start um but if you want to make a private offer i mean like i said I, I haven't done research on these figures to to see what they're going for currently but make me an offer. Make me an offer. Um, was a lot worth it. So, yeah, I like I said, I, I was second-guessing myself all week. Um, people were totaling up what they thought those chase variants were worth and said that's at least half the worth of the lot. Um, and so with the hundreds of other loose figures that I got, it should be worth it. Uh, when I told Pirate Dad what I got, he said it was worth it. So, um, yeah, I think I, I think it was still worth it. Uh, can you see here real quick? Here, let's go big screen. I'll even put my glove back on for you. I mostly put the glove on for the flocked one, but. So it's a little hard to show because of the lighting, but like this is her. Like she's still fully intact. Um, I don't think she even has that much like sun damage or anything. Like I, t to me, yeah, that's, no, that's all clean. Um, it, th this is a, this is a pretty clean figure, especially for being out of box. No. Oh. Yeah. Um, no marks on the bottom, except for what came from factory. Um. Yeah. She looks great. And it, it, exactly, Doohan, you make a nice point. Um, that figure was an original SSA release. Um, unlike my red camo, which didn't come out till 2013 during Swap Force. So that's a little bit younger. But yeah, that one, I, like, I, I don't know if it's been out of box for 10 years. I'm guessing probably not, but um, it, it was created 10 or 11 years ago. Yeah, it was produced. So yeah, like I said, if you're interested, I'm, I, I, I will tell you right now, in, unless I've missed a message somewhere, um... I don't think anyone has made me an offer yet.
So nice yeah, I, I, as always, I will take offers first come first serve. Um, uh, so even if I get off the stream and I have three offers on the same figure, I'll, I'll check timestamps. So if I don't reply right away, don't worry. Um, I'll get to you. I promise. As much as you want to buy these, I want to sell them. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I got the camel collection. Light core. There. I don't feel quite as bad touching this one because it's in my collection now, but and it's not flocked. But yeah, camo looking good. Beautiful. I mean, everybody calls him Fruit Punch. I've never called him Fruit Punch purposely, but. Yeah. Um, like, I mean, ca my camo even was still sitting at level 5, 2100 gold, so. My flames are growing. I'm not too worried about that one. Um. Yeah, it's legit. You can't fake your figures easily. Yes, it's true. They are much harder to fake. You sent me a fat offer right now. All right. All right. I'll be looking for it. Like I said, I'm I, I'm a little bit in time crunch tonight, so I'm I'm not gonna look at it right now. But um yeah, like I said, I'm I'm pretty sure you're the first one to send me an offer, so I'll work with you first. The sky's the limit. And but thank you for sending an offer. Like I said, I, there's always people who who talk a lot and would love to have the figure, but can't spend money. So I get it. I get it. It's a it's a big purchase, a big investment. But yeah, I I'll definitely be in touch. Don't worry. Full scream ahead. My wing. Full scream ahead. <laughs> you got two hands. Oh, what, what, whatever 